Hey, Blabberhoof. What is cracking? Why Fool's Garden? What? Is that like a reference to something that I don't get? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Alright, let me fix up my American Truck Sim because... Also, Lemon Tree. I put lights on it because I like to put lights on absolutely everything. I'm a bit of a fan. Um, okay, so I've got... Tonight we have a Rosé Cider from the Yarra Valley. Never tried Rosé Cider before, it could be terrible. Oh, did they really? Hmm, okay, I'm going to write down all the suggestions actually. Let me find my little, uh... Huh. Did you take my texter, Rory? <laughs> did you take it? She's wagging her tail, that's a yes. Why don't you say hi to Banshee? It's weird. Oh, it's over there. You just want to play with the elephant? Okay. Um, we do have doggo cam. It is set up. I had to blue tack it down because it kept falling over. Where's the board? Here we go. Alright, so. Lemon tree names. Fool's Garden. My suggestion is Hector because of Hector Limones in Grim Fandango. So that's, that's two suggestions. We've got to name it by the end of tonight though. <laughs> He's judging people. Also, I think I put these in the Discord, I can't remember, but um, I had a late birthday present arrive from my sister today and they are these little lemon earrings. They are the cutest things out. Hang on. I'll see if I can... Look at them! And they've even got, if I can turn it around, they've even got like a little, a little leaf on them. How cute are they? Yes, funnily enough, Corey played um, Achilles in a performance of Paris the Rock musical. So Hector will meet Achilles if we call him Hector. Love the lemon earrings, love the lemon tree. It is a dwarf Maya lemon tree. It's already got blossoms on it, so we should actually have fruit this season, I reckon. Even if they're little and inedible. Um, look at the elephant. <laughs> You're a weirdo, Rory. Um, Sheila got a new bed today and she loves it. Alright, let's go to the game screen. And... <laughs> yeah, she's such a weirdo. Alright, let's put this up here. And then... Doggo cam is up there. Now, I don't think I want it to do display capture. It needs to be game capture. And that's... Sh yes, there we go. I did it right. Amazing. Um, now, which side? That's got all my important stuff on it. So we'll put me over this side for this game. Like so. And then we'll put our little... Our little shout outs for people. Which ones are those? Uh, I don't think we need a label for doggo cam. I feel like that's pretty self explanatory. But we'll put up these. We'll just move them over a little bit. Recent follower, Martigan79, winner of our $50 Visa gift card giveaway. Sorting out how to get that to Canada. Apparently you can just send them online. You just need like an email address or a postal address. Most recent subscriber, the lovely Rose Catcon. Had a great time hanging out with her last night. Alright, I think we're ready to go. So, let's start the truck up and hope that all our controls are correct. Why is it playing out of that? Okay, hang on not playing out of my headset, which means that you guys won't hear it either. Did I not plug the right one in after all that? Holy smokes. Where's the end? Uh, uh, not that one. Where's the end of this? Um, oh, it's down there. Oh, that's a long way down. Hey, Spooky! 
Hope you're feeling better. We have a lemon tree. Please submit your um, application for what you think it should be called. So far we have Fool's Garden or Hector. Hello, Rory. Yes, you, you have an elephant. Um, okay, that should be right. Headphone. Okay. This works. Well, that's deafening. Yep, that's excellent. Right, now we can hear it. So now I just need to make sure that this is set to the right thing so that you guys can hear it, which it is. <laughs> uh, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Let's chat later. <laughs> okay, this is a bit too loud. Hey, Stu. How's it going? Good to see you. Let's chuck on some sort of music for this one this time, now that we actually have music. Uh, let's go... Ooh, rock. Sure. I like some rock. Hey, Shrek. How's things for you? Whoops. Let's see, we've got rock, hip-hop, hype. I kind of like this. Okay, no worries. Thank you for the lurk. I'm doing awesome. We have a lemon tree. Feel free to help us name it. Everybody can put in their suggestion. I'm writing down on my whiteboard all the suggestions. Okay, so we want truck engine to be sort of up. About there. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Audio output. Try that. Tree of Zest. I like that one. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, I, I believe it was Fool's Garden, and I think that was why Blabberhoof suggested Fool's Garden, because of the single. Okay, so tree of zest. Like the tree of life, but zest. I enjoy that. Alright. Okay, for, so that's two, two votes for that. Okay, now we need to make sure that the controls are... Oh dear. Keyboard only. We want this. Simple automatic. Yeah, let's just do automatic for now. Controller subtype wheel. Uh, yep, sure. Input wizard. Simple automatic. Okay, I think it just puts it in automatically for you, so we can only just give it a go. Um, I do have a shifter, yes. I have the shifter in the bundle. However, I haven't really tried using it yet as a shifter. Um, so I'm just going to try automatic at least for a little while tonight. And I might try manual later on. Or stick shift, whatever you want to call it. Snicket. Oh, lemony snicket! Yes! Eureka lemon. Pink variegated lemon. Lisbon lemon. It is a it is a Maya lemon. Um, snick it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wreckfest. Okay. Um, go back to controls. We're getting there. And what are we looking at in controls exactly? Tequila. Interesting. Okay, so we're in here. Transmission is simple automatic. What are we... What are we wanting to change? Input wizard. And then back into controllers. Oh, right. We want real automatic because otherwise it's just forward and back. 
Ideal for wheel with pedals. Use buttons to switch between driving forward, standing, or reversing. Then press the accelerator pedal and let the automat handle the gears. Buttons to switch between. Because this one, press forward and back to brake or reverse, the gearbox will handle it. Okay. Okay. That should be fine then. Advanced setup. <laughs> Drink driving. Drink responsibly, children. It's a rosé cider. I've got to see if it's any good. Jibber, look at the lemon tree. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay, joy wheel axis, clutch axis, inverted. It is shiny. Here you can choose all axes. Select an axis by clicking on the button near the axis name. Yes, Rory's very excited. She's doing a lot of squeaking. Shrek, what are we looking at here? Can we move on yet? Dead zone is an area on axis that should intentionally provide no input. If you want to modify the dead zone of a selected axis, axis, move the slider of that axis. The more you move the slider to the right, the bigger will be the dead zone. You can circumvent inaccuracy or false input due to wear of your controller hardware. The mode of an axis determines how the axis in handled... Oh, misprint in the game. Also, this is all good. All right, let's just give it a go. I, want, I just want to see if it works. Uh, I'm not shifting up. This is all fine. Okay. Hello, Jug. Lemon. We have it. Um, please submit your, um, your suggestion tonight for what you would like to name it. So far we have Fool's Garden, Hector, Tree of Zest, and Snicket. Must pat Rory. Pat, pat. Bottom. Okay, let's drive. <laughs> Rory's oil is... She's like the tin man. That's exactly right. You've got to put RGBs on friggin' everything. And it's already got blossoms. Um, actually, let me just go full screen for a sec so that you guys can see it. Look, it's... Oh, you probably can't really see it. Corey, I forgot to light my candles. Um, it's already got blossoms on it, so I think we should get fruit this season, I'm pretty sure. I really like it, though. It looks good. And um, I also have lemon earrings. My sister sent me lemon earrings. So we are very, very excited about lemons. Change my truck style, but that's my truck. It's all I can afford. How much have I got? $43,000? What do you want? Why do I need to change my truck style? My truck is offended. Um, you've got a patter. Well, you need to speak to Dan Andrews about that. Uh, hey, Mouse, how are you going? Uh, if it survives and grows, it is a dwarf. So the biggest it will get is about two meters. So I think we'll be okay. I know, they're so cute. Um, apparently she ordered them and sent them to me for my birthday and they just, she didn't think that they would arrive. Um, but they arrived and look at that. It's got a little leaf on it. I love them. I, I was so excited when they arrived. I said, the lemon heads are just going to think that that is amazing. <laughs> okay, Wreckfest. I'll tell my, uh, my truck that you're not hurting its feelings anymore. No coffee? Well, I have this rosé cider, which is actually turning out to be quite well. Yeah, I like them too. Do you have one of your ears pierced at all, mouse? You should get like a little mouse earring. Alright, cool. Well played, my sister. Exactly, little Cleomite. They're both pierced. Get mouse earrings. You absolutely have to. Alright, back to the game. 
Um, we are going to play the job market. Freight market, because I have my own truck. Right? A little mousy earring. Or you could get, um, oh, get an ogre earring, do it. No, what, what you should do, mouse, is you should get one of those ear cuffs so that, like, it looks like the mouse is running up your ear. Excuse you. No growling. She's so jealous of my space. Um, you should get it so that the, the mouse's tail, like, wraps around your ear to hold it on. I don't know. I, I should design it. It would be amazing. Or your daughter could design it. Okay, curtains. Let's start with a really, really small one. Just because I would like to see how we go. It'd be so cool, right? Oh, come on, Shrek. So yeah, definitely um, put in your suggestions for what you would like to name the tree. And I'll pick my favourite. Um, what else have we got going on? We have... Um, we have quotes now. So you have quote will give you a random zesty quote. Um, add quote will add one, because I think there's only one added so far. Um, and then you've got exclamation point delete del quote will get rid of a quote. So... <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, is, that is the quote that Blabberhoof added. Okay, I guess we have to start the engine. How do we start the engine? One of these, yes. This gets you in the cab. Visit service. Oh no, our truck is bad. Oh, interesting. Why can't we, why can't we go? Alright, first of all we need to visit a service station. Um, tow to service. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Flappy paddle to change gear. But I'm on automatic. Switching PC. Oh, nice. We're excited to have you. That'll be fun as. Okay, to repair. Service. Oh dear. That's, uh. Oh, I've got insurance. Okay, that's not so bad. We can actually afford. To repair our truck. Okay, so we're repaired. Now we need to find a fuel station. This scares me so much. Okay, why aren't we going forward though? What have I done wrong here? Why is accelerator not accelerating? That's true. They might delete all the good quotes that ever were. <laughs> um, apparently, I don't drive it at all. Do I have the brake on or something? I think the brake is still on. I can't remember how to turn the brake off, though. I've never really had to. Oh, I'm in neutral. Right. Flappy. Oh, I've got indicators. Bullshit. That's so cool. Okay, so the flappy paddle changes... Okay, that does that. Does that put it in first, then? <gasps> no, that puts it in reverse. Okay, this is weird. Reverse. So which one is... Where does it show me what gear I'm in? Oh, so that... Oh, right. It's up there. Okay, so that's... That's neutral? It just keeps saying it's in neutral. A3. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. This is already a bit too real, guys. This is, uh... This is not good at all. I mean, it is. But I'm just like, oh, no. Uh, how do we get out of this place? Alright, so we break, and then we go into reverse. 
Wait, that's neutral. Where did reverse go? I'm confused. So that's neutral, it doesn't do anything. Whoops, then we go off. That doesn't do anything. Oh, there's reverse. So reverse is just... Okay, so it's just back and forwards. That's the break, Zesty. Yeah, this is this is quite a time. No, I haven't set up the gear stick. I, I don't want it to be too complicated yet. As you can see, I'm just struggling to get the truck to go in a straight line. Who's A? There we go. Wow, this feels so different to Farming Sim. So different. I think for now I'm going to go outside the truck until I see if I can actually control it properly. There's very... Whoa. Oh, it's scary when you crash though. I will get the hang of it. It's um, it's just very different. I've done so many hours of keyboard and mouse. I'm like, what is this? No. It's it's a whole different ball game because you can't just, you know, you can't just smack one of the the buttons on the keyboard. It's actually you've actually got to do it as though you're driving. Come on, we can get through here. Vroom. Come on, we can get through. Okay, maybe not. Let's try and go through this side instead. Okay. Why is that giving me a right indicator? Weird. Okay, fair enough. Let's try not to crash. It does seem to be a good lemon tree. So remember I said that if they brought me out a lemon tree and it looked really crappy, I would just be like, no, take this one away and get me a better one. He brought it out to the car and I sort of looked at it and went, okay, the leaves look a little bit curly. I don't really like that. Um, but when I looked at it further, I think it had just been sitting there for a while. Um, and it had gotten... Um, it had gotten dirt on the leaves. And we actually had a huge, huge rainstorm here this afternoon. Um, so it actually ended up being okay because I put it outside. I think I'll just have it outside during the day because it does need sun. And Corey says that it looks like a sex dungeon in here, which is very hurtful, but, you know, we'll move on. Um, and so basically when it was outside, it got heavily rained on and now all the leaves look cleaner. Yeah, I know how the GPS works. Gosh. The pedals are more sensitive than I expected. You sent a PM? Okay. No texting while driving, though. Well, that's exactly right. That's what I'd like to know, Blabber. Or maybe I wouldn't like to know. I feel like that's maybe something private for him. Okay. So guys, I got Sid Meier's Pirates yesterday. It was on sale on Steam for $3. And it looked really good. I watched somebody playing it. Some, I think his name's Red Panda. Um, I watched him playing it. And it looks pretty awesome. Sid 
So we'll probably start playing that after Thimbleweed Park, I think. Although I'm actually thinking it looks so fun, maybe we won't leave it for Retro Night. Maybe we'll just play it for fun. <laughs> I needed the money. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. We're going to run out of fuel. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Now playing as a friend by one toller. Oh, is it? Oh, sweet. Thanks, Shrek. Okay, we're not doing too bad so far. We're driving really slow. Yes, hold me. You need to play with us on um, Roadrunner's Garage one day, Mouse. In the convoy with Stu and Camping Guy and stuff. It'd be awesome. Okay, Shane. Jibber, I mean. Whatever. Interchangeable. We had a good dinner. We put peri-peri chicken rub from Nando's on chicken. Corey cut it into trips. Into strips. Put it on the barbecue. Barbecued corn. And we had potato salad. It was good. Um, Saturday. So, all day Saturday. Your time. So, like, from Saturday morning till... Saturday lunch, maybe? I think Saturday morning till dinner, about 6pm. And then, like, 7pm to midnight. That's New York State time, anyway. Um, so, Roadrunner does it all day. I'm obviously in bed for most of that, so I catch the dinner stream. So, I get up in my morning. So, literally just, if you haven't already, chuck Roadrunner a follow. Um, join his Discord, and we will get you... Brumblebee Master sets up the loads, so we'll let him know you're interested, and he will communicate with you on Discord, set up the loads so you have the same loads as everybody else, and um, yeah, you can either do the whole day, some of the day, people drop out at various intervals, so yeah, you'd be more than welcome, that'd be awesome. I, um, I'm the same blabber, I feel like I've run out of things to make. I'm not the most adventurous cook in the world, but I just feel like I've run out of all the the things that are good. And I need things that don't take long. Yeah, he streams um, in Australian time. Gosh. He streams like 8am to 12pm most days my time. Um, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, he streams in the morning for us. So he'd probably start pretty early your time, like maybe like 6am your time, and he'd go to like 6 till 10am, so that might be why. Yeah, exactly, your work hours. Hey Purple, how you going? How's that, um, that stream coming along? The canal stream, so that I can watch it for my happy hours. Uh, yes, he is definitely in my Discord somewhere. Um, Brumble will probably be in here later and he can probably give you a Discord link too. Delicious things. What if you're the delicious thing though, Blabber? Maybe you're the delicious snack. I can't believe we haven't run out of fuel yet, but I haven't seen a station. Oh, okay, yeah, well, you'd be welcome as well. Our convoys just keep getting bigger. Okay, Purple, I'll, I'll let it go. As long as it happens eventually. <laughs> the convoy is a lot of fun. Um, it was pretty frustrating last time because we had an update. Um, just as we started the second convoy of the day. Um, and that was really frustrating. Because it meant that all the loads went away. We had to basically just sit around and wait and entertain people randomly while that updated. Um, and then I crashed a lot. So we'll see how we go. You're the dessert. Wow. You're the sweet little something something. That's nice that you cook for her though. Corey's about the first guy that's ever cooked for me, so it's a bit of a treat. I wonder why 
it's so force feedbacky. Like it's so grumbly in the wheel when you turn the pedal. I don't think it's like a rumble strip. Uh, last time I think we had 11. 11 people once I got there. I tried to take a screenshot of all of the trucks lined up, but I don't think it worked. Um, but we didn't have everybody kind of driving all at once in the end, simply because we had so many issues with truck books and people were going off doing their own loads and having to catch up and get to our destination um, by themselves. My truck books bugged out and sent me... I picked up the right load, but it sent me to a different place, so I lost everybody. It was time. 25, wow. Well, at one stage, we went past a convoy that was ridiculous. It was the biggest one we'd ever seen. I think it had about 50 trucks. We drove past it, and they were all parked along the side of the highway, and it just went and went and went. It was unbelievable. Really cool. Give it to me by Counterpoint Culture. Triple five divorce, $100 down. Cheat? Seems like an excellent deal. I want to put the foot to the floor a bit more, but I'm kind of scared to. There's so much traffic this time. Yeah, some of them were a lot larger than ours. And I um, head-oned into somebody. And it actually kind of upset me because... I didn't see them coming, and I just totally lost it around the corner completely by accident. And I head on them. And that was sad. And I got a bit of a fright. Oh, I'm out of fuel. And I was a bit shocked by by that. I was sort of like, oh shit, what do I do now? Um, and they used the multiplayer chat thing, and they like called me a knob. And I was just like, oh, well, I'm really sorry. I didn't crash into you on purpose. It's just a game, but... They were very upset about it, which I get, like, they came around a corner and I literally just smashed into them. But it is a game. Time for some cider. This is actually really growing on me. It's actually really nice. Wait, that's the hazards. That's those lights. Which one is the main lights again? I thought it was F, but that's the hazards. Here we, uh... Oh, okay, you've got to press it down and hold down the accelerator for a minute for it to actually start up. Alright, now we're good. Where's my... There we go. Will you let us out on the road, please? Oh, you're gonna let me out? No? Yes? The cars sometimes let you out, but the trucks rarely let you out. They're just like, nope! Oh, you're gonna let me. Thank you. Gosh. Whoops, I think we ran over a reflector post. That's okay. Oh, now we find a fuel station. We were almost at a fuel station. What are the chances? What's quality content? Running out of fuel? Oh, I know. I was so close. Alright, no worries, mouse. K or L. Okay, right. I know. I never feel more like a noob. I reckon, than when I'm playing this game. It just, it makes me feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, there have literally been times where I've just wanted to just throw it in disgust. Just, ma it gives me massive tilt if I crash too much. Um, so we'll see if we manage to get to midnight on this game. If we don't, we'll, we'll switch to something else. I don't like doing that, though. I like to just, you know, play a game solidly. Unless we, like, do a bit of stream racer or something at the end. Alright. <laughs> yes, that is quality content. I think everybody enjoyed it except me. Press and hold this. Yeah. 
So, the other thing we've got going on at the moment... Yeah, I think the keyboard and mouse just didn't work for me, so I was getting frustrated. Now, the other thing we've got going on at the moment is... Um, this guy that's doing this artwork for me, doing my logo slash avatar thing... He just... Oh my gosh. Like... He... Okay, he sent me something. Hang on, this is exciting. He said that he wasn't going to have it done in time and he wanted to extend the deadline by a day. And I was like, well, that's disappointing, but okay. Then today, when it was due, he's like, okay, I need an extension. It's not going to take another 24 hours to finish, but it is going to take a few more hours. Is that okay? And I said, look, okay, but if this isn't done in time, I'm going to be cancelling it and asking for a refund, okay? Because, like, I need this done... ASAP. Um, and he was like, it's okay if you want to cancel. And I said, I don't want to cancel. I like your artwork. Please just have it done in the next few hours. He said, to be honest, if in a few hours, it's probably still not finished. If you want, I can finish this artwork. Maybe later in the afternoon. If you want it in a few hours, I can't, sorry. And I said, how about you just finish it and send it to me by the end of your evening? And he said, okay. Um, and I said, I look forward to seeing the finished product. So he sent me the progress of it, which I'm not going to show you because it's not finished yet. And he said, I will send here the progress on chat, maybe two to three hours to finish. But if you feel it is not suitable or not good, you can cancel it. It's okay, so I don't need to finish it if it doesn't fit. And I'm like, do you not want to finish it? Is that what's going on here? Oh, wow. I think I like it. Yeah. Hey, Corey, come and look at this. I really like it. Okay, I'm really sorry, guys. I just have to take a second. I have to reply to him and tell him what to change so that he can finish it, if that's okay. Um, I'm just going to say... Um... Uh, I think that's all I really need to change. He's giving me brown eyes instead of blue. Everyone keeps doing that. Every single time I am looking <laughs> the unfinished Frankenstein version for free. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been very stressful. I wish I could show this to you guys, because I love it. But, um, yeah, it, it needs it needs a tweak. Every artist that's done anything for me gives me brown eyes, and I'm like, I guess it's hard to see in a photo, but, like, come on, guys. All right, Spooky, I'm going to send it to the mods chat, just so that you guys can discuss if there's anything else that needs to be changed, but... Aside from the eye colour, I love it. Oh! Tell me what you think, Corey. Have a look. Okay, sorry guys. We're off. We're off. We're gonna go. Oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> so relieved. He can, okay, he can take all the time he wants now. Now that I know that I'm not waiting like a week for him to do some really shit job, he can he can take as long as it takes. That's really awesome. I'm very happy with that. Nice. A webcomic. Nice. So you wrote it and they artisted it? <laughs> Illustrated. I don't know why that word didn't come to mind straight away. I'm so excited I can barely talk. Nice. And did it turn out in the end how you wanted it? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Mouse is back in business. I'm impressed too. 
Can you translate it and send it? <laughs> hey, Aussie, I'm good. How are you? Welcome in. We have a lemon tree now. Um, please submit your suggestion of what you think we should call it, and then later tonight, when I've got the full list, I will uh, choose the best name. <laughs> Most of the time. Nice. Well, once this artwork comes through tonight, the next thing I'm going to be doing is getting my overlays. I'm going to be like, right, this is my logo avatar. These are my emotes. This is my colour scheme. This is what my gaming background looks like. This is the kind of thing I want because I have found... Um, hope we don't crash. I have found a couple of overlay examples that I really like. So I have found someone on Fiverr who has got some examples of actual work he's done and really excellent. So I know who I want to do it. It's just going to be a case of getting all the elements together and explaining exactly what I want so that all the different artists are cohesive. Like Slavic Doll, who's done my emotes. I love my emotes. But she doesn't do overlays. Pardon me. And she doesn't do big avatars or anything. So, unfortunately, she hasn't been able to do that. Um. Also, what did I, what did I just think of? Oh, yeah, are the... I haven't heard from Twitch yet. Have the emotes been approved? Do we have extra tier 1 emotes yet? Or are they still not there? They were like, congratulations, you qualify for instant approval for your emotes. And I was like, yes! And then they said, okay, thank you for your submission. That'll be a couple of days. And I thought, well, what a lie. Wow, we're so far away from even, like, the place that we have to pick the thing up. I forgot that you actually had to travel to pick it up and then travel. So, that's that's a zesty lesson for this evening. They're not there yet? Okay. What do you think of the, the thing in the mod chat, Spooky? Did you have a look? We need to turn here. I like it too! I think it's good. I think it looks just enough like me to work, but not so much like me that it's basically just a drawing of me or a caricature. <laughs> Have a beautiful time! <laughs> Wreckfest suggested Eureka Lemon. Okay, I'll write that down when I get a chance, or I will get Corey to do it. You like it too? I'm so glad it's not just me. I think it's perfect. It's going to look so good. Like, it's not finished yet. So, the drawing is an avatar. Like, an avatar of me to use as, like, my main logo on the channel. Oh, okay. Well, this is a Maya lemon. It's a dwarf Maya. But, yes, it's basically a lemon version of me. Um, when I reveal the final artwork. I'm also going to reveal Zingy! I like that too! Everybody's got such good ideas. Better than my ideas. I'm jealous of everybody's brains. Um, I'm going to reveal the artwork that got done by the previous guy. Um, the lemon doesn't, but the picture of me looks like me, yes. Well, no. It, it looks... It's got to be a surprise. It looks enough like me to work. It's what I asked for, put it that way. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, I'm going to reveal the other artwork I got done that the guy refunded me for. Um, because, oh my gosh, it was such a time. I can't remember, I know I chatted to Delta about it. Um, okay, well you've got a teaser, you should... You should see it tomorrow. Like, he'll have it done tonight, apparently, so you should see it tomorrow. You don't have long to wait. Um, what's tomorrow? Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thimbleweed Park Night. Retro Wednesday. The signals are strong tonight. Um, gosh, I'm so excited. I keep losing my train of thought. Yeah, so this other guy... <sighs> man. 
and I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Um, he did not do what I asked. Like, he didn't even do a little bit of what I asked. It was... I looked like a man. It was terrible. It wasn't in the style that I sent him a photo of that he... He had done this artwork. Brumble, thank you for the host. Mouse, there's Brumble. Brumble, Mouse Michaels would like to join our convoy, if that's okay. I said I'd hook him up with you. Figuratively speaking, you're married. Um... I sent him a photo of some artwork that he'd done, and he displayed it on Fiverr, and I said, this. I basically want this, but me. This is perfect. And he was like, yep, no worries. Didn't even look slightly like that. He used an eSports style of artwork, which I, I hate for my channel. It's just not me at all. Um, and it looked terrible, and I, re I was quite upset. I really hated it. And I said, um... I basically said back to him, okay, uh, you're a very talented artist, don't get me wrong, and I don't want to be too critical, but you've done this, this, and this, and I asked for this, this, and this. So if we could just change these things, it would look better. Like, it'd, it'd be more what, what I asked for. And I basically said that I wanted it to look more feminine. And he responded with, oh, I didn't think you wanted it to look like porn. I was like, goodbye, have an excellent day, and uh, I will take my business elsewhere. And he goes, okay. And he cancelled my order and refunded me. And I was like, goodbye. Um, who have we missed? Hey, Viral. Hey, Delta, how's things? How are you and Lucy? I'd, uh, I'd get a mod to delete that comment viral, but I asked for it. So, she fine. <laughs> she fine this time. You have gotten away with it. Hey, Corey, can you please send Delta the unfinished artwork or spooky if, if Corey's busy? Can you send it to him privately on Discord? <laughs> Fair enough, viral. It's a good thing that you're a nice guy. I was going to say it's a good thing you're cute, but I don't want Vicky to slap me. I feel like Vicky could slap me hard. Edit comments to say something like, I like lemons. <laughs> She's not here right now. I like trains. <laughs> she would. I like turtles also. So Delta, we've finally got some good artwork going. The guy has extended the deadline twice now. Um, so after we spoke about it yesterday, he extended it again. But he sent me the like 80% finished work and I'm letting him keep going with it because I really love it. Have them DM me. Okay, we will... Can he whisper you? Is that okay? How do I get him to DM you on Discord? If you know how to do that mouse, do that. DM Brumble. <laughs> back streets, back, all right. I really like it, Delta. I think it's awesome. I'm just getting him to change the colour of my eyes because everybody thinks I have brown eyes. And the fact that I have blue eyes, even when I have hated myself, it, I've always been so happy that I have blue eyes. Because they're my favourite, so... I'm like, please don't do that to me. Playing Payday. Gee, I wish it was Payday. Turn left. I'm way too hesitant on the accelerator, and I brake way too hard. Other than that... We actually haven't had a spectacular crash yet. In fact, we might almost be ready to try a cockpit drive. By cockpit, I mean cabin. Uh, you're going to see the rejected drawing tomorrow. Although, how, I don't know, Jug, because you're not in Discord, so I don't know how to get it to you. I suppose I can bring it up on the screen. Yeah. 
yet. Tomorrow both. Yeah, look, for the people that don't have Discord, I'll... I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'll just pull it up on the screen, yes. I'm afraid I don't have... <laughs> do for everybody, okay. Nobody gets anything that Jug doesn't get. Um, I don't have any news from our Queen Amaranth. She hasn't been doing anything interesting. She's just been doing the ASMR. I'm very disappointed. I expect to see, like, really top-notch stuff from her now. So those that were here last night, did you enjoy raiding um, Andy Ray cosplay? I hope you did. She's amazing. I looked on her Instagram this morning to see the finished work because I had to go to bed before she was finished and it was so good. Oh, that story? Yes, I have to look that up. Amazing. She is an absolute legend. Also, I dyed my hair today, guys. Nothing dramatic. It's just, um, my regrowth was a different brown to the rest of the brown, and it was starting to bother me. It made me look like I was going grey, and that, uh, pressed on my mind a little. <laughs> um, so I got, like, a semi-permanent dye, because I'm going to dye it another colour pretty soon for a cosplay. Um, so I dyed it like a hazelnut, so at least now I have, like, hazelnut highlights in the top. I've never dyed my hair before. I was just like, it can't be that hard to do it at home, surely. <laughs> Famous last words. But actually, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I often wish that I had blonde hair again so that I could, like, dye it temporary blue or temporary pink. But it's just so much hard work to have blonde hair. Unless it's short. If I ever cut it again... Maybe. I can see why people drive slowly when they're not using the keyboard. I always used to really chafe in convoys, like, come on, why is everyone going so slowly? And now I'm just like, oh, it's because it's actually like real driving. <laughs> You sent us yesterday to a very... Yes, exactly! Andy Ray cosplay! It was so good! Pink? What's pink? Pink the singer? <laughs> yes. Well, that's the thing. She she is nude. Um, so she, she does have her top half nude. And I did warn everybody of that before we went in. Um, but she just puts, like, nipple covers on, like, the sticky things, and paints over them really well. And she does all that section before she comes on stream. Um, and once she's on stream, then she does everything else, so that she hasn't gotten any, uh, any ban content. But she's just such a lovely person, and if you look at her Instagram, it's crazy. Like, I spent about ten minutes standing next to Corey while he was trying to work, and just showing him photos and going, look at this! How? How do you do that? How do you learn to do that stuff? And today I fell into a massive cosplay hole. So, I've been learning all sorts of things like how to make your eyes look anime, um, wig tricks, how to change your eyebrow colour, how to make your lips look bigger or smaller, um, how to give yourself a facelift with elastoplast tape. People are just so bloody clever. Been looking at cheap sewing machines. The problem is, we can't go to thrift stores at the moment because of lockdown, so there's literally, like, nothing that we can do. I need to buy some cheap curtains and do a real Sound of Music thing. Ooh, a pool. Will you light my candle? What are you staring at? Uh, this is... Oh, it's not a right. It's just a corner. Wig wheel! We're behind a policeman. So besides the lemon tree tonight, guys, the other thing that I want to chat about that I'm interested in is I want to know where everybody's... If you're, like, comfortable 
telling me, because some peoples are basically like their names or whatever. I want to know where your gamer tag or your Twitch tags came from. Oh, it's Patrol Nissen! Like, I feel like I probably know where Patrol Nissen's name comes from. But I'd just like to know how your names came to be. Like, why is Mouse called Mouse? Why is MDT have random letters and numbers? What on earth does Gigante mean? Like, where did Blabberhoof come from? I don't even know where Spooky got Spooky Spirit from or whether he just picked it because it was cool. And like Danks, um, Nos Noslin OCE, that makes no sense to me at all. So I'd really like to know where your tags came from. Mine is boring and self-explanatory. <gasps> a backstory. We stand a backstory. Viral Blade, Call of Duty Battlefield. I like to stab people, and I used to be very toxic to trolls and idiots. Cool. So did you come up with the name because of that, or did other people call you that? Okay. So other people gave you your name. Other people gave me my name too. Although it did come from the meme um, that I chucked in Discord that one time to... Tell everybody where the nickname came from. Unconventional. Interesting. When in 2010, I decided to get a barbecue smoker. I wanted a sign with a tour and doing some bar. Oh, wow. Hey, Alleged Future, what's up? Where did Alleged Future get your gamer tag from? What, what is the origin of that? Way back. I searched quite long for a reliable person to get this artwork done. More than a year. Oh, well, that sounds like my current journey. My dad used to call me Tricky Vicky. Hey, Vicky! Since I was 9 or 10 years old and the name stuck, I used it for everything. Aim, Yahoo, e <laughs> So, when I went for my first job, I had this email address that is no longer in existence, and it was, oh, what was it? EJW Horses Forever. And I, it was the most embarrassing thing out. Even back then, I got it when I was about 12. Even back then, I thought it was embarrassing. But my brother was our computer person in the house, and mum said he had to set up our emails for us. And he said, what do you want it to be? And I said, oh, can I have, like, a day to think about what I want it to be? And he was like, no, hurry up, think of something. And so that was the first thing I blurted out. And he was like, that's stupid. And still made it for me. So. We just never know about the future. Okay, fair. Uh, in juvenile detective, right, it's two story. Oh, okay. Really loved that picture and started to create a backstory for the barbecuing tauren. He's named Harl. When Har was in the woods, oh my gosh, when Har was in the woods harvesting fresh elf ears for his restaurant, a gnome was fleeing into his hoof and stayed there. The little guy's a chappy one, so Har got the by name Blabberhoof by his patrons. Oh my gosh. Wow, I did not, I did not expect that. I uploaded a, a Nissan Patrol to YouTube, but Nissan Patrol was taken as for why it is here. Nissan Patrol. Huh. Okay, well that makes sense. Resin Ryan. Mine is from Weed Resin, since I smoke and I'm constantly cleaning it from the pipe. Nice one. Hey Ben. I feel like I should ask Ben where his, uh, where his tag comes from, but I think we all know. <laughs> We're discussing where people's uh, gamer tags originated from, Ben. Oh, we've got a discrepancy here. Two hundred and eighty-three miles to go. We're also naming our lemon tree, guys. So, give us your suggestion for what to name it, and I'll pick one at the end of the night. Oh, don't 
crash into me. You can't even remember the first. But, like, what is what does Gigante mean, though? Like, does it mean something, or is it just random letters? It looks like a George. Okay. So I have to write down Eureka, Zingy, and George. Early Steam days of TF2. Bob. Bob the Lemon Tree. <laughs> Lenny. It has no meaning. Aww. Aww. Hang on, I need to pause this and I'm, I can feel my brain trying to store all of the names. Corey, can you please turn the heater off? I'm dying in here. Uh, so we've got Zingy, Eureka, Bob, George, Lenny. We also have um, Snicket, Tree of Zest, Hector and Fool's Garden. Quite the list. <laughs> you are lacking. Lemona. Lemona von Sour Pants. I feel like you're being funny, but I actually really like it. So it's going on the list. Um, Lemona von Sour Pants. Also, Jug, I feel like you would have had some really like crazy game law related uh, idea for how do we get out of this for the uh... how do I go back how do I go back drive oh yes that gets me back for the lemon tree by now um <laughs> which has no meaning E54 I don't get it <laughs> yeah, exactly, Resin. Take it seriously, we're naming a fruit tree. <laughs> like tree huggers. How are you driving with the wheel? Um, I want to say badly, but actually not too bad. I'm driving slowly, which upsets me because I like going really, really fast. But aside from an issue getting out of the the yard at the start, um, where we had to go to get our truck fixed. We actually haven't had a major crash yet. Yet. Oh! <gasps> the Deku Tree! Yes! Oh, I'm glad you like it, Vicky. I just, I love fairy lights. I'm addicted to them. Everything has to have fairy lights. And I feel like it stands out more. <laughs> E54 is the ICD-10 classification of scurvy. Okay. I do really like the Deku tree. Call the tree COVID. Why? Because we need something to remember it by. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll give it a go in the cab. I'm just really scared of doing that. I feel like I will just... I'll just crash. I feel like I can't really get the idea of where I am on the road like this, especially because I'm driving on the right-hand side. <laughs> jokes, jokes. <laughs> okay, so, Tricky, that's really weird that you say that, because I literally just heard about My Hero Acad Academia or Academia or whatever it is today. Um, I fell down a cosplay hole on YouTube. And there were so many people who were cosplaying that. And I was like, I've never heard of this before. I obviously got, like, what style it was and everything. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh. Learning all the new things. I have to learn to sew. That's the only thing. At least to some extent. I feel like if you're really going to do cosplay well, you have to be able to be creative and make stuff. Or you just won't do it as well. Like, buying a cheap online costume is easy. But it just doesn't look crafted. 
MHA is bigger than Naruto at this point. Oh, okay. I'll have to try watching it. I've never really found an anime series that I've really liked. Corey watches a fair bit of, anim of anime. He really likes... Uh, what's that one with the four letters, Corey? Is it Ruby? But it's spelled R-W-B-Y. Um, he really likes that. And that one's not too bad. There's bits of that that have interested me. Um... And I like how the characters look. Like, I'd like to anime... Uh, I'd like to cosplay the anime girl that... I don't know her name, but she loses her arm at one point. She's really cool. Hadn't heard of it before she introduced me to it. The kids seem to have a way of doing that. They just find things. Great Balls of Fire as I need to play... Oh, Pyro. Okay. On Epic, my name is Ford Mav, which is basically a Nissan Patrol. Oh, I'm going to crash. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. It does look crap. Um, for the cosplay that I'm going to do for Halloween on stream, um, like, I don't think I'm going to do it on stream. I'm just going to wear it on stream. I have ordered a costume for that because I simply just... I can't learn to make a costume and have it ready by October the 31st. Like, I just can't. I need time to just learn and practice and get some really, really cheap material and a cheap pattern and just have a play with it. Um, so I have ordered that, but it's also a very specific costume. It should be fairly well made from the reviews. Um, but after that, I'd like to try and sew something. I'd like to do Elaine... But the older version of Elaine, she's got like the the Elaine Marley, the green scarf, uh, the green cummerbund, the boots, the brown leggings. I'd like to do that. Um, Death Note was good. Oh, I've he I have heard of that one. Are you in... I think Mouse is in the Discord. Can't compete with Andy Ray. No, I can't compete with Andy Ray. She is bloody brilliant. Like, she makes me cry. She's just like, I'm just like, I can't ever be good at cosplay. But you can't compare yourself to someone that's been doing it for a decade. You look really suspicious. What have you got in your hands? Oh, okay. Just, hello? Yeah. Oh, you're in the, sit down in the doggo cam. Oh, am I in the doggo cam? Yeah. Just your legs. Everybody wants wants Rory to be cuddled and stuff, so you can you can cuddle Rory. She likes the elephant. Do you want a taste of my cider? It's really nice. You sure? Okay. They're insane patrol. She, um, she brought in a... I don't know if you were there. She brought in a huge raid when we were playing Flight Sim. Like, over 100 people. It was amazing. And they're such a friendly community. And I was like, I've never heard of this person. And I didn't really twig. I didn't really read the cosplay in her name. I just went Andy Ray, whatever. And they were like, oh, Andy was playing Flight Sim. I'm like, okay, she's a gamer. Fair enough. Went into her stream and was just like, oh my gosh, what have I discovered? Her Instagram is where to go to really see all the the crazy stuff she's done. But, like, she can make prosthetics and stuff. I don't know how to make prosthetics. I'm allowed to cuddle and pet Corey as well. Who? I'm allowed to. Blabberhoof says so. Oh, okay. What's your suggestion for the the tree? I can hear his brain cooking. You're only allowed to pet Corey sometimes, Spooky. Guybrush the lemon tree. Can you write it on that? <laughs> no one's going to see it, except me. And I've seen your handwriting before. But see, Lily would be amazing at it because she's such a good artist. Like, I can't draw. I can paint a little bit. You are very careful. <laughs> I know, I'm so careful <laughs> with like, this. You're like half a kilometre behind her. I'm like <laughs> a grandma Sunday driver. It's like driving Miss Daisy. Um, 
Oh! Oh! Sorry, Close. Whew. Pay attention to the road, Esther. Did you want to have a go? No. Okay. Um, yeah, Lily's amazing at art, whereas I'm just like, I I don't really have an arty side, but cosplay just interests me so much because it's like theatre. It's got the costume, the makeup, the character portrayal, so I really love it, but my sister is the sewer in our family. So are we going to Supernova? Uh, yeah, I want to go to Supernova. Do you want to come to Supernova, Spooky? It's in March. And it's only like 60 bucks for a ticket. We should absolutely all go. Have a mod day. You could go to Corey Threepwood. Hey, Veggie. What's up, man? And you could cosplay as a paint walker. Pee on the tree? Yeah, that's fair. Feed it and pee on it. <gasps> Liliana. Oh my gosh, I would love to cosplay as that. Oh, it would be so hard, but it would be so cool. Or Nissa. Nissa would be cool to cosplay. And I'd like to do a, a typical Harry Potter cosplay one day. Draw up the outfits before making them. Why is she so smart? Oh! Getting absolutely whipped by like a 13 year old. They got boring after a while, but I guess I'd be down. Yeah, but it would be fun, Spooky, because you'd be with us. Just turning it a red left arrow. Yeah, I don't play as much as I used to. Um, we used to always play Friday Night Magic and do all the pre-releases together. Um, but we we do have a store near us now, again, that does magic, although COVID. Um, I got over going to Friday Night Magic, though, because I wasn't very good at it. Like, I was a beginner. I didn't spend a lot of money on it. I didn't spend a lot of time practicing, although Corey and I used to play and stuff. Oops. A car. No matter. Um, so I used to go down and play the Friday Night Magics and I enjoyed it and it was something that Corey and I did when we were dating. But everybody was just really rude to me because I wasn't good at it. Um, and I just got really discouraged. So I just kind of stopped going. An arena duel off. Oh, I'm not good enough for that. Corey could, for sure. Um, he plays MTG Arena a lot. But I don't even know what the cards are anymore. Like, I'd have to painstakingly read each card. I have some Planeswalker decks. Um, you've been decks. to Comic-Con, Ben? Awesome. We could all do a meet-up there. What? You mean Commander decks? Commander decks. What did I say? Planeswalker decks. Planeswalker decks. <laughs> no. Um, and we have the MTG board game, but apparently it's not very good. I'd play card. <laughs> do, do we still have the MTG board game? Yeah, we do. No, we have the... We have Plane Chase. Is that what it is? Yeah. Hey, Alleged. Hey, Alleged. Didn't we already say hi to you? Yes. Oh, you're just saying hi to Corey. Okay, well, fine. Um, you have fans, Corey. Yeah, we have, we have planes chase. 2K night. Two night. I haven't played in a year. Two night. What? Oh, two, oh right, okay. Because Ben can't spell. I don't play Magic as much as I used to. I wanted to try to go pro with it, but I was not good enough. I just, I feel like you would have been if you'd kept going. I just I, don't well, like the I, people. It's so toxic. I agree. I probably could have been good enough if I played it heaps, but I'd rather have a wife than a life. Like, you have to play it 12 hours says, a day. Says you like, who has a wife that abandons you for four hours every night to stream. Yeah, but I, I could spend that time playing Magic, but I don't. I play it spend it playing other things. Rocket League! Yeah, I've just been playing Rocket League. I'm gonna finish it right now. Do you like me? Oh, what? For good? No, just for now. Oh, okay. Um, I really like it, Brumble. I really like it. I don't know why I'm being so, like, careful with the driving. It just, I guess it seems more real now. Like, I have to be really careful. Can you imagine if you had, like, the screen going? Oh, imagine if I had the curved screen. I want this in VR. Like, surely one day this will be in VR. I mean, one day every Life will be in VR. Life. Life. And no damage mod. Just for now. Right? It would be like travelling, Vicky. I mean, it's enough like travelling now that it makes me feel like I've gotten out of the lockdown and I've, I've gone somewhere. Um, like a lot of people are saying now, 
their gaming makes them feel like they're living vicariously through their games. Um, like Eric B. Rowland, he's got an immune issue, so he stays home. He can't really go outside, so he lives through games. Um, so it's been really good for that. Some of the crashes in VR, I would just close my eyes. I could drive super fast, yes. Yeah, Ben goes speeding along in this game. He's just like... Vroom. I'm not on the wrong side of the road. It's American Truck Simulator. I, I know. Uncultured. And, and it bothers me that they're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. I live through... <laughs> you have no friends. Wow, get stuffed, Spooky. Yeah, games are like... There's so many people who are just so bored right now. And I wish I had more hours in the day. I should really change this from miles to kilometres though, Ben. Um, um, I was thinking about ordering a snack, so I want to picture. Would you be interested if I did that? Um, You're going to buy a graphics card. I'm going to buy a 3070. A 3070. I'm going to buy... I can change it, but I have to figure it out. I'm going to buy a Guitar Hero controller and play Guitar Hero. I'm going to stream Guitar Hero. You're going to stream Guitar Hero. Miffy does that. Oh, he plays Rock something. Rock Rocksmith? Band. Rock band. Oh, Rocksmith is the one with the actual guitar. Yes. Yeah, Rocksmith. Because he's actually a guitarist. That's what I probably should play. You because... probably should. <laughs> Uh, Veggie, you pretty much just pick up loads and take them places. It's just a, a driving game. It's just chill. At least then I feel like I was being productive. I was learning guitar while I was doing it. You don't need to learn guitar. You already know guitar. Yeah, but I'd be learning songs and improving. Ben, if I could get played to play games all day, I would too. Um, let me say it. Across the entire internet. Alright, so do you want something? Um, internet, that's awesome. That is the greatest typo ever to exist. Um, I guess just like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm doing profound brain things inside my head. Elite Dangerous, you need to talk to Delta about that mouse. He was... In my in my Discord about the Elite Dangerous today. <sighs> yeah, Delta says he likes it because it's like flight simulator but in space. And VR is apparently very good. What about Freelancer? Freelancer. Freelancer. Yeah. There's so many games. Like sometimes I think I'm gonna run out of things I want to play on stream, and then we have chats like this, and I just think I am never going to get to the end of the games that are available to play, ever. But I feel like to really keep streaming and to enjoy games, I really need to start to learn to enjoy games more like Horizon Zero Dawn and stuff like that. Like games that have... Not exactly first-person shooters. I'm never going to like first-person shooters. Mainstream. But yeah, more mainstream games where there's battle. Like I don't really like those combat-based games, but I think I need to just find some and learn to like them. What's the Speedrun Mario. If I speedrun anything, it'll be Escape from Monkey Island. Too many games, not enough time. Full sand, Olson. Brumble, I need you and Camping Guy to record yourselves saying that so that I can put it on my stream deck. Like Roadrunner's got that one of me. Um, I guess I'll just have like a hazelnut thingy, but not a large this time. Uh, yeah, just a medium and... Huh? Yes, decaf. No. I never eat them quickly enough and then they just go cold and it's kind of yuck. Are you going to be mean to Spooky? Wait, is Spooky in there? What's yep. 
Is he being mean to me? No. I'm oh. just like, you've come in here to talk, so I guess you're gonna... Yes. I, I just came to say to all of our American, all of your American viewers, I'm going to Macca's. Oh, ASMR. Interesting. I didn't realise it was that kind of stream. Are you learning from our Queen Amaran? I've been watching on you. In your time. No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got told a really dirty joke today and it made me laugh a lot. Okay, you can tell me the dirty joke later. Also, Blabberhoof wants to know how you know that this room looks like a sex dungeon. He wants to know how you know what a sex dungeon looks like. Me? Yeah. Did you hear that, Blabberhoof? I asked Corey how he knows what a sex dungeon looks like, and he said that he won't tell you about his time in Germany. I'm not sure I understand that, but it sounds insulting. Manic Mansion. <laughs> ah, yes. Mine is Buzz Buzz Olsung. Why? <laughs> Full sandals, son. Uh, Patrol on this one wants a triple calf with a quadruple shot. And Spooky would like a McFlurry, an Oreo McFlurry. Oh, wow. Corey's back in the chat and being mean. Wait, I think that's where we needed to go. <laughs> My palace. Um, the restaurant of the Golden Seagull. We call it like the Golden Arches. I have a brothel story, but I don't know if it's appropriate, although we don't have a family-friendly tag on. Um, I have never been to a brothel, thankfully, but I had a friend that I used to work with who used to work at the front desk of one. Uh, what did we come here to get? This. Clothes. <gasps> we get to drive clothes around! Maccas. Yeah, well, we found out the other day, Ben, that apparently Americans don't call it Maccas. They call it McDonald's or Mickey D's. What, in a brothel? Huh. Do I want to know why? Is it appropriate in the stream to ask why they have to repaint it every few months? I'd really like to be somewhat PG because we never know what kids are in here. And I'd like it to be accessible to everybody, but we've started this. Okay. I'm going to be quiet now because I'm backing. Full concentration, also. Shit, what did we hit? Oh, nothing? That was weird. I thought I hit something. Now, it's only one trailer, right? Yes, it's only one. <sighs> However, it means that everything has to be a wider turn. Okay. Oh, interesting. You have a friend who owns one. It, it must be so lucrative. All the same... Oh, patrol. <laughs> oh, I've seen so many, like, documentaries and stuff where people have taken ultraviolet lights into things and I'm just like, Ugh. Ugh. Is this how we get out? I think it is. Look at him! Look at him just sitting down doing shit all. Should be sacked. And look at this guy holding up the... F what is he doing? He's making rude gestures at the fence. 
Are you okay there, sir? Weirdo. Alright. I don't think anyone's coming. No. No. Coast is clear. Oh, we turn on to the right side of the road. Oops. This is not good. I forgot that we had a trailer on now. Good start. Good start. Never been to one. <laughs> okay, well that's good, Ben. Each to his own. Gosh, I've changed so much since I was like 15 and went to my first job and I was all sheltered and I used to have very strong, strongly worded and formed opinions about what people should and shouldn't do and I was very eager to share them with the world. I was unbearable as a 15 year old. Ugh, makes me cringe. He is making minimum wage, correct. Shut down. What's been shut down? Whoops. I did get shut down a lot. <laughs> um, maybe change a lot the past. Yes. Correct. It's only been in the last probably three we're just going to fill up now I think um, the last three years three to four years that I've actually been able to figure out who I am as an adult and not be told how I must think and feel and behave and live my life and make my decisions um, it's been good so yes, I have changed quite a lot. I like to think for the better. Uh, my mum doesn't think so. But she's doing okay. I should be driving in manual. I would do so badly, Ben. Maybe next time. Okay, we're turning right. Now, big wide turn, but not into the barrier. Where's Thomas Levo? He, I know he's out driving somewhere, but he needs to be watching this. I'm doing so well. Are they really? So, forgive my ignorance, but do how do engine brakes work? Do engine brakes still work the same if it's an auto? I don't really understand transmissions. If Roadrunner was here, he would laugh at me so much right now for asking that question. But I'm here and I asked it. Oops, this way. Oh, we weren't meant to go up here. They didn't do a very good job of blocking the road. We can make it. Yeah, we can fit through there. Can you imagine how pissed the cops would be in real life if you did that? Like, yeah, I know there's an accident there, but I'm just going to go through because I'm a truck. It still works the same. Okay. I feel like I've been sitting in my chair too much today. It's really... Not... Not fitting my kinks. What do you mean, if? I'm guessing you've done that before, Blabberhoof. Interesting. Good to know. What did, where did Jibber go? What did he end up making for dinner? Computery controlled. Everybody that I know or have ever met who is a mechanic or even is just a backyard working on cars person, they all say the more computery a car is, the more there is to go wrong with it. And I've got to say, being sent literally bankrupt, well, broke, not bankrupt, but broke, by a car that had a, my first car that had a computer in it, I have to agree. I had a Holden Astra, 
And my dad said, don't do it. They have too many issues. The electronics are shit. He did not use the word shit. He, I think he used rubbish. Um, don't do it. It'll send you broke with the repairs. And I said, no, I want a Holden Astra more than anything in the world. Away I went, I got one, and within about 6 or 12 months I had to sell it because I was broke from all the repairs. All the electrical things that went wrong with it. What kind of Holden, Ben? I had a VE Commodore for a couple of years and it was a beautiful car. I got rid of it because the fuel was just excessive. Um, but I loved that Commodore. I always wanted a Commodore, and I had one, and it was terrific. It was an awesome blue colour, had a spoiler, it was just, oh, it was so nice to drive. Um, but I wouldn't get another one. Yeah, I really like Spooky's car. A Lancer was something that was on the list for me. Um, but I don't know, my family have always said that they're, they're crappy cars, that all Mitsubishis are, but... I know a lot of people that have got Lancers and they all seem to like them. A VE. There you go. And what colour is your VE, Ben? I want to say it's white. Is it white? Hey, Kiwi. What is up? I'm good. <gasps> I got it right. Yes. I don't know why. I was just like, Ben drives a white VE. <laughs> Just a sensor. Yes. Well, funny story. Um, my Peugeot that I have now, it has a brand new timing belt in it. And I went, okay, so the timing belt's just been replaced. That means that the timing belt is going to need to be replaced every so often. And the guy who I bought it from works on cars. And he said, well, actually, the timing belts don't need to be replaced. But there was a sensor that went in the car. And the mechanic could not figure out what the issue was. He wasn't very good the previous owner this happened to. Um, and so he said they replaced a timing belt because that's what they thought it was. They misdiagnosed it. Turned out to be just a sensor. Congratulations, you've got a new sensor and a new timing belt. I said, great. Good to know. Oh, see, I really liked my VW. Um, I was sad that it died. And when I was talking to my boss today, I was telling him about my new car. And he said, oh, that reminds me of my wife's VW convertible. And I said, oh, I wanted a VW convertible, but I couldn't find one that was petrol and I didn't want to risk a diesel one again because the particle filter got blocked. Um, and he said, oh, you're kidding. I sold my wife's VW convertible not long ago and it was petrol. I was like, you are kidding. That's okay. I love my car. It's amazing. No, see, I don't really think anybody seems to have problems with Lancers, but my family were always just like, no, terrible cars, steer clear. I don't know why they thought that. Swapping out parts. Yeah, exactly, they swap out parts and you have to just pay through the nose. It's one of those things, like sewing for cosplay, I wish, I wish that I was talented enough with cars to work on them myself to save money, but I wouldn't have a clue. I know nothing. I can change a tyre. I can fill up the windscreen wipers. I can check the oil. I can't change the oil. And that is basically it. I can tell when there's something wrong, but not what it is or how to fix it. Yes, do it. We've got a little show us your rides channel. My straw keeps getting lost in my cider. I wonder if this guy's finished the artwork yet. I sent him a whole bunch of information about how much I liked his artwork and what to change. And all he said was, okay. I feel like he's angry at me. I don't know why. I told him, like, I gushed over his artwork. I was like, it is so good. Why does he hate me? I do check the oil. 
I check the oil before a long drive, which I don't have any of them anymore <laughs> at the moment. But um, I always check the oil and the water before a long drive. And other than that, I check the oil. There's no time frame, occasionally. You've had a few wines. I thought you didn't like wine, Ben. You must have been desperate for that alcohol. This is really nice. And normally, like, I feel quite tipsy if I have some cider. And this is 2.1 standard drinks, but I... It hasn't had any effect at all. Which is weird. A sweet wine. Right. That makes sense. Because this is... Gluten-friendly, vegan-friendly, contains sulfites, 2.1 standard drinks. What's the alcohol content? Where is that? 8% alcohol content. So it's actually, like, it's fairly strong. I suppose... What, I've been streaming for an hour and 40 minutes, so it's taken me an hour and 40 minutes to drink two-thirds of it. So, yeah, I suppose I'm drinking it pretty slowly. Is that a joke, Patrol, because I'm drinking and driving? <laughs> We're not doing too badly. They put vegan-friendly in the label. No vegans were harmed in the making of this. Where are we going? We don't turn off there, do we? It takes a very special apple to make the grade at Cold Stream. The chosen ones are pressed and cold fermented, filling our pale pink cider with a gentle stream of bubbles. A touch of sweetness and a dry finish deliver an elegant experience that puts a rosé in every cheek. Interesting. It's from the Yarra Valley, which is the main wine area around Victoria. Drink driving and using... Yes! I'm doing all the wrong things. Maybe. Second hand. <laughs> oh, does it? I feel like I don't have it turned up loud enough. Because everybody always complains with this game that I have it up way too loud, which is true, so... My uncle is a dairy farmer, and he has the most inflammatory t-shirt, and he loves it. Um, and it's just got, like, some pictures, some little cartoon pictures in a row of, like, a cow, a pig, stuff like that. And all it says on it is, animals taste good. And it, it's just the most offensive shirt to wear, like, down the street or whatever. I feel like farmers work so hard, they have a right to wear things like that. Like, as much as vegetarians hate all that thing, it's like, well, farmers also get you vegetables and milk and stuff. Although, vegans don't have milk either, do they? Because no animal products at all. They do. song? What's it called? Swamp Stomper. <laughs> Every cheek. There's four cheeks on the body. Is that where you're going with that? <laughs> and the almonds give such little milk. And they dry out and their skins fall off. I had to basically go vegan for a month or so. This stupid naturopath who I would never go to again. He put me on this diet. And I have to say it did work, the diet. It did what it was meant to. Um, but I have never been so miserable as when I was on that diet. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink milk. Um, I couldn't drink milk and I couldn't eat meat. I couldn't eat eggs. Um... So, like, no yogurt, no cheese. It was awful. I could have meat, though. Like, I could... But only certain meat. I could have steak, and that was about it. It was... One of the dark periods of my life. Steak is good. We had a steak the other night, and it was awful. I don't know why. It was just not good meat. Cyclists. High score if you hit them. 
Who's Pogacar? Is he the new Lance Armstrong? Ten points. That's low. This is really fun with the wheel. It's so fun. I actually feel like I'm sitting in my truck and just, you know, driving along, having a look at things. I do wish it was VR so that I had, like, I could look right and left and see out the windows. That would just make it everything. He lost all of them. I have a picture of me standing next to the waxwork of Lance Armstrong at the Niagara Falls Clifton Hill Waxworks. Louis to Swords or whatever it is. <laughs> Hi, score! 20 cyclists in a day, on average. Oh, Lycra. Ugh. So, in the town my sister lives in, there's a little cafe there that is very, very, very popular. It's like the place to be on a Saturday or a Sunday morning type of thing. Um, and every Saturday, Sunday morning, you have the group of cyclists. Whoa, no, please stop. Please let me go. I thought it was green. Yeah, my brakes, ace. <laughs> I can tell you the brakes work just fine. Come on, little truck. Why do we have so much force feedback on this? I can hear it rumbling. Um, yeah, there's always a crowd of cyclists there, and they're all in Lycra, and it's just not okay. <laughs> Look out, coming through. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't really keep up on sports. Are they having the Olympics? Because weren't they having the Olympics in Tokyo this year? What happened with that? I'm guessing just not. Every Saturday, right? Saturday is just Lycra Day. We're just going to go and hope no one crashes into us. Against all odds. We're going to Walberts. Uh, where do we need to end up, though? Because that's... That's the car park. Oh, just here. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, mounted the curb. Wow, that felt very realistic. Heck. Reversing. That sounds like food at the door. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Gee, I'm not very good at this. That's a statement for the books. Differential lock. Oh, we're inching forward. Inching forward. Any second now. No, I think we've stopped moving. Yep, we've stopped moving. Back into reverse. Do we need doggos back in for puppy cam? For puppy cam, yeah, possibly. I'm gonna have a snack in a minute, so it's all good when I finish this load. Wait, for, is it for doggo cam or for chips I give you? I said I didn't want chips. Oh, I thought you said you wanted the chips. No, I said don't worry about the chips because I never eat them on time, but like they're here now, so oh, I guess sorry. I'll. Yeah, how dare you get me chips? Far out. It's hard to find good husbands these days. These ones that just buy you chips and stuff. Like, it's just unacceptable. Surely we are close enough. Close enough is good enough. There we go. Sorry, I'm in the hurry now. It's exactly right, Jug. He's just being 
far too far too accommodating. Post phone. Oh dear, patrol. <laughs> Show me how to drive. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Go the lockers and low gear. <laughs> Blabber is always on the quotes. Okay, so we want to put... Oh, three. We want to go high-value cargo. And I'm actually going to put a couple in fuel economy. Excellent. Alright, so where are we on the map at the moment? We're in Sierra Vista. So we need to find... <clears throat> Somewhere that leaves from Sierra Vista. Don't fall over, Fries. Um, freight market. Sort by origin. This one? Where are we, though? Nope. There's got to... Maybe I had it right the first time. Origin. It needs to be in Arizona that we start. They're all New Mexico. How can there be no jobs that start in Arizona? They all end in Arizona. Oregon. Idaho. Lot of Oregon. NV. What's NV again? Nevada. That's ages away. Utah. New Mexico again. Nevada, New Mexico, read up, if you, <laughs> sorry Rumble, if you click on the city app, it will only load loads from that city, praise be to Rumble, for he has saved us from our incompetencies. Um, it's meant to, yes. It's me It said that it gives you a random quote. Just try it one more time. Bob Taylor in time. Everybody. Applause for everybody. Hmm. Okay, see you later, Ben. Let me, let me check into that blabberhoof. I'll have another look at Nightbot. Alright, it's snack time. I'm going to uh, take a a loo break and let the dogs back in and I will be back ASAP. Talk amongst yourselves. Name the lemon tree and all that sort of thing. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one.
Okay, we back. Where he is. He's doing a thing. Okay, good night. Ready? Can you win Doggo? Oh, Doggo can even even on screen. Yeah, you caught it. Come on, guys. Oh, you popo. Oh, you fluffy popo. You, you fluffy popo. Hug? Yeah. You're such a cutie. Ugh. Gross. You're a gross cutie. She can't look at people if you're hugging her. She's always like, I love you. Don't look at me. She can't meet your eye. She's just got to, like, look slightly away. Because you're so cute. Alright, I've got to drive a truck. Good girl. Go back to doggo camp. Um, oh my gosh, what has been happening in the chat in the last... while I was gone? Ooh, my wheel did a thing. Um... Foxtrot arrived. Hey, Fox. What's up? Did you actually sleep in the end? Add quote. <laughs> My followers and other stuff. <laughs> you went to potty. Foxtrot went to potty. Uh, we fixed up the quote thing. Laundry day. For mouse. <laughs> I fed myself, not my plant. Yes, I don't like to restrict people until they troll me and then I'm just like, screw you all. Oh, nice. <gasps> wow, that's bad, mouse. That's so bad. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense actually because we do this thing with Rory that we call focus. And so we pull it back. Like we pull her face at us and we go focus and she always just, her eyes just slide away. But it makes her respect us. Foxtrot is back from potty. Where are my headphones? There they are. So we still don't have the full artwork. I'm assuming because I was so complimentary on the artwork, he's decided to just take an extra day. But I like it so much that I'm kind of committed at this point. I like this song. Hey, Tank Man. Rory's been licking her tail like that a lot. I think it's time for fleas again. Alright, so. Oh, wow. That's a long one. All the way up through California. Straight up the middle. Um. Sure. Sure. I can always finish it another day. I am doing awesome, Tank Man. We have a lemon tree, um, and everybody is giving their suggestion as to what we should name it. Um, that's what she said. I forget what I said that makes sense with what you said, Patrol. <laughs> All right. We are in neutral. Uh, wait, where is the thing that we're picking up? Is that what we're taking? No, that's what we just dropped off. So we just need to figure out how to get out. Um, some little safety steps there. Is 
another little supervisor back there earning minimum wage. That's <laughs> that is funny. Well done, patrol. I think we get out this way, I'm pretty sure. I like this song too. Well, Pretzel Rocks has actually got some good rock songs. Who would have thunk it? So, Tank Man. I hope that... Citrusy. Okay. Okay. I hope that college is going well. Tonight, besides naming the lemon tree, we're chatting about where people's gamer tags came from. So, why are you called Tank Man? We've had some very interesting elaborate stories as well as some boring ones. Not in a bad way, just it's my name type of thing. I thought it was a good question. Um, where are we going? Wow, I am just using the brakes so badly. A recruitment agency. Oh wait, I think we've gone too far. No one behind us? No. We're meant to be going in here. Come on. You can do it. View the job offer. Oh, mobile barrier. We are not taking that anywhere. Girl named Stu is behind the times, but that's okay. We love you anyway. Um, the wheel arrived, what, guys, like a week or so ago? Probably almost two weeks ago. We've used it on Farm Sim, but this is our first night uh, using it on Truck Sim. And I'm having a very good time. Also, I saw on Twitter that you're, you're getting your, um, your webcam. Congratulations. I'm excited to see what I'm sure is your beautiful face on your streams. Sheila, naughty. Don't do that. I bought her a new bed today because the old one was just a bit manky. And um, she's decided that it is essential that she rip it to shreds. I don't know why, because her teeth are bad, as we all know. But she's decided that she has to destroy it. I think because it's a little bit fluffy. Um, I forgot that she likes fluffy things and just bought the bed because it looks so comfy. And she just cannot be left alone with it for a second. See, look at that superb backing job compared to what I'm normally like. Okay, I finished my cider. It's time for coffee. Okay, came from a while ago when I was about seven, a while ago, and used to play Roblox, but always played a Roblox game with tanks in. So I decided to call myself Tank Man, as I also love learning about war, and the 1313 is my birthday. College is going well, thank you, just a bit stressful. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't do college. You're a braver man than I am, Gunga Din. Well, that's a cool story. I like stories that make sense. Um... It's been hard to catch you on because... Yeah, time zones suck. And, like, it's so hard to figure out a good time to stream. Because you can't just cater to people and go, okay, I'm just going to stream at whatever time works for you, not what works for me. But next week I have four till midnight shifts. So I'm going to be streaming in my morning, which is the American evening. Um... I don't particularly want to change my stream schedule like that because I feel like people get used to 
your schedule and they're used to when you stream. But I just, I have to. Because I'm not allowed to swap the shifts, so it is what it is for a week. But it'll work for some people, so I guess that's a good thing. My name's to stream when I got affiliated. I promised I would. And on March the 9th, 2020, told the viewers why I am mouse. But we, I wasn't, I didn't know what Twitch was on March the 9th this year. So what about me? Do I have to go back and find that video? Yeah, it is exciting. I'm so glad you hit your goal. How could you forget coffee, Foxtrot? It's like the most important thing besides lemon on this stream. I've got my coffee, would you like to share? But it's decaf. With a lot of work. Second full week. Yeah. It's like it's like when kids get to is it year nine or year ten? I was homeschooled. And all of a sudden the teachers go, let's prepare them for year 11 and 12 and just give them a shit ton of homework. Fish as well. What? Oh, right. I'm confused, Blabberhoof. I only got an hour that I can actually work. Why? Just, like, appointments and stuff? Who's Zodiac sign? Zodiac sign. Oh, is, is a Vir Virgo or whatever. Please work for my days off. Nice! Well, I stream, like, every night, but you know that. But yeah. So I'm bound to work for whichever day you have off. That's good, though. I'm glad that you come and hang out with us. Vine Street. I love Macca's Monopoly, but I never win anything except, like, free soft drinks. But a free soft drink is free. March 9th. Oh, March 9th was um, Mouse's stream where he hit affiliate and told everybody why he's called Mouse, and I was saying that I missed it. Um. Also, Foxtrot, if you haven't gone inside to get coffee yet, um, I think just put me on the same farm as Roadrunner on the new map. Because I did talk to him about it, and he was very unhelpful. He just said, if you want to be on my farm, I'd love to have you. But if you want to have your own farm, that's cool too. And I was like, that doesn't tell me what you want. <laughs> but okay. So I reckon I've had fun playing with him, and he says that he'd like it. So I guess just put me on the same farm again, if that works. Tuesdays and Thursdays off. Sometimes I wish I had regular days off, but I don't. I just kind of deal with it. You need to wait for me. How are you driving through those cones like that? How does that work? I wonder where Maxi Sammy is. Maxi Sammy was super excited for tonight's stream. They wanted to see how the wheel went with ATS. Here it is. Whoa! Are, are, you, are you right? Man. Ass hat. Um. Just so you know, starting out is going to be tough. I'm going to make it hard on purpose. I'm looking forward to that, though. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because I feel like it's been too easy. Like, I rocked up on the map and Roadrunner just said, you are my virtual wife, you can buy anything you want. You can have anything you want because we have lots of money. And I was like, that's cool and everything. But I feel like I missed out by missing out on the grassroots stage. So, I'm excited. Do we know which map yet? I haven't been in Roadrunner's Discord to have a look if there's been chats about it or anything. 
doing college work at the moment while watching you. I wish I could play. Oh, nice. Well, I'm hoping to one day have like a, a truck convoy of our own and a farming sim server of our own. Just as a start. So hopefully one day you can. <laughs> Meanie. A hundred thousand. Well, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to log on for the first time and Roadrunner will have already spent our 100,000. I tell you, money burns a hole in that man's pocket. Yeah, I have Discord, aren't you in it? Within about seven seconds, somebody will type exclamation point Discord. I'm all in with anything trucking or farm sim. You do. Yes, absolutely, Mouse. We would love to have you. For sure. Anytime. <laughs> Brumble is not going to be able to support his wife in the manner to which she has become accustomed with all the pink trucks and stuff. It's going to be amazing. All the women are going to hate it. <laughs> It'll be so good. Okay. Wow, driving straight into the sun. Yeah, sometimes I wish I had regular days off, but they're all over the place. Like, I had Saturday off, then I'm working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I have Thursday off, then I work Friday, Saturday. Then I have Sunday, Monday off, go back to work Tuesday. It's like, you, you never know what day is going to be off in the next roster, so you can't really plan. But at the same time, it is nice because it's not like I have to go back to work and I have to work five days before I get another day off. It's just, you might work one day and get a day off. You might work two, three, four, five. I've even worked six in a row before. There's pros and cons. Wow, that's really pretty. I was part of your Discord, but I wasn't. <laughs> So you were Schrodinger's cat? You were both in the Discord and not in the Discord? Shame. <laughs> oh, Brumble, shots fired. So yeah, I fell down such an anime cosplay hole today. I'm so excited to start a costume at some stage when I can go to a thrift store. I was trying a few like different makeup things that you can do. Like I learnt, um, I learnt how to make your eyes appear bigger by concealing your bottom lash line and putting a fake lash line and then putting fake lashes underneath your eye on the fake lash line. And I was just like, that is freaking brilliant some of the stuff people have taught themselves to do is just insane so I tried a couple of different things when I was getting ready to stream you can't really see them on camera um, but I'm quite happy with them like just tricks to because I've got hooded eyes so eyeshadow doesn't really work for me that well because I put it on my eyelid but when I look up you can't see my eyelids at all so just ways to like make you look like you don't have hooded eyes, ways to make your eyes look longer. It's just all smoke and mirrors. Clever people. Drink, drive, lose. 
Well, I haven't lost yet, and I've been drinking and driving, so that's a lie. Oh, weird. Man, I'm so excited to show you guys the art. What a great day this has been. This has been a red letter day. Big corner coming up. I didn't click leave channel because why the hell would I leave you? Oh, love to you, Tank Man. Do you have friends you went to college with? Like, do you have friends from school or from outside school that went to the same college as you? Or have you had to make all new people? I think you told me. I think, I feel like I remember you telling me that you had to make new friends like on the first day because you didn't know anyone. Was that you? I'm not very good at making new friends. Whenever I've made a really close friend, like the friends that are my best friends now, it's always been by accident. Um, it's never because I went up to them and was like, hey, like, let's chat. You want to be my friend? Type of thing. It's always just been because random events or they've forced themselves on me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really shy meeting new people. It just, it terrifies me. I'm just like, I don't know small talk. I don't know how to make small talk. So to try and think of something to say when you've just met somebody, you'd think it would be easy because you can ask them about themselves. What do you do? What's your favorite color? You know, do you have a partner? Where do you live? Do you have pets? What do you drive? Like, there's so many things you could talk to them about, but I just freeze and I just sit there and I hold, like, my drink or whatever I've got and I'm just like, yeah. So, uh, what have, what have you been up to? Like, I'm so awkward about it. I've literally read articles on how to get better at small talk. That's how bad I am at it. I just, I wish it was a skill that you could learn, but all the articles just say practice. I'm like, perfect practice makes perfect. If you practice something badly, you're never going to get better at it. Different courses. By chatting about... Well, yeah, I suppose that's a thing with college. Like, if you're studying the same thing, you've got that interest there already. I'm glad you've been able to make friends quickly, though. That's awesome. I was like that um, when I got divorced. I lost 98% of the friends I had. And it was great. It was an excuse to cut off the dead wood because... I found out that my friends weren't really that great. Um, not very supportive, not very loyal. They all kind of stayed with my ex-husband. And I was like, that's fine. I'll go and find some new friends. And through musical theatre, I did. And I'm just so glad. I've just got this great group of friends now that are just a million times better than any friends I've had in the past. Like Corey said before, I have changed a lot in the last few years, so I don't really blame my old friends. I think they were kind of like, who are you? And I was like, I'm me, funnily enough. I just didn't realise it. I have to go to the bank tomorrow morning. They're only open for like four hours a day. And I don't start till 12, so I've actually got the chance to go to the bank. I keep getting these refund checks from RACV, um, who I had my car insurance and red, um, red, no, just car, car insurance and roadside assistance. And they keep 
um, sending me letters and saying, oh, we've actually realised that we charged you too much, so we're actually having to repay you. And they send me like 50 bucks. I don't know why. And also my aunt gave me a check for my birthday, which was really random. Like, a check? Why? Um, and because I've been working 8 till 4 every day, I haven't had a chance to go to the bank when it's been open, so... I have to do that tomorrow morning. We also got a gift card. Get this right. We got a gift card for our supermarket for like $35 because we recycled correctly. It's the funniest thing out. Never had a problem with it. I have ne never met a stranger. See, you strike me as that sort of person, Mouse, and I really envy that. I wish I could be more gregarious with people that I meet, but I'm, it's just not me. I really try and like I smile at people and I say hi and I pretend to be really friendly and whatever and it's not that I'm unfriendly. I would just rather talk to somebody I know. What did I just press? I think I bumped a button. Because of rules. Oh my gosh, Tank Man. No, don't be sorry for chatting lots. Um, that's, like, the best thing about streaming. I am exactly the same. Like, ever since I was a kid, I've always gotten along with adults better than people my own age. I don't know why that is. My mum used to tell me I'm a bit of an old soul, and I've never really understood what that means. But I just... I never had time for people my own age. I felt like they were just really silly. Um... And just had really stupid conversations. I would always, like, go to my friend's place and I'd sit down with their mum and have a cup of tea and just talk to them for hours. Yeah, same, Mouse. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's turned around and you've got all the kitties. <laughs> it's weird. Do you think it's, like, got something to do with, um with that arty theatre kind of side, like, maybe we feel like we can identify with people easier because of our study of different characters through theatre and film and stuff. We're getting very, very, uh, what, what's that word? Philosophical now. But maybe, maybe we sort of feel like we understand those people better. Like, we don't really watch movies that portray silly children that often. <laughs> and I always read a lot. I think that helped. Like, I read, like, 12 books a week when I was a kid. We would go to the library, say, on a Tuesday, and we could take out 10 to 12 books at a maximum, and we would take out 10 to 12 books, my sister and I. We'd come home, and we would just have our nose in a book constantly, and then we'd have them all read by the time it was time to go back to the library. They seem pretty awesome. They always... The ones that have come over here, like Laura, she speaks very highly of you. She takes her mod duties very seriously. Yeah, well that's what I'm thinking, like you just, you you learn, you study different people's characters and you, you learn about, you know, okay, why do you think that that person said that? Why do you think that they're acting like that? What is, what is their, oh, what's that word that people always use for like why they're doing something? They always say it in theatre, what is their, that's going to annoy me, what, oh. Intention is a good one. Motivation! That's the one. Thank you, Mouse. What is, what is their motivation? What's motivating this character to do this? So I guess it makes you understand people more. Because, like, even when I'm really angry at someone for doing something, I can mentally sort of take a step back and go, okay, what's, what's motivating them to do that? 
have they had a bad day? It's probably because of this. It's probably because I said that and they took it this way. Theatre's just great for so many things. What a banger! My Revolution by Miracle of Sound. Oh no! Crashy, crashy! There's a lot of force feedback on this. Lots of grumbly. Off to Albuquerque. As I do all the technical stuff. Too many snowflakes? Who's got snowflakes? Just in general. Also, your sub badge disappeared, patrol. That's weird. That's been doing that lately. Someone will say something and the badge goes and then it comes back. Talk about theatre. Look, I could talk about theatre all night. You just need to tell me what you want to know. Because to me, it's just... It just is. It's just theatre. It's just what I do. It's not, um... It's not a novelty. Like, it is a novelty, especially now. I would die to be in a show. Um, I'd love to get back into Wicked ASAP. But yeah. Most people I know just know it. Okay, it looks like this is where we're picking things up. Break! One of my friends is now playing Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. That's something else I've never played. Come on! You gonna drive? Thank you. D. Lemonize. Oh, in general? Yes. What would you say is the most important role from your perspective? Hmm. Look, I've already thought of my answer. I'm just... I'm now on my own little train of thought here. I would say that by far the director is the most important role. Um, one of my best friends, who was actually one of my bridesmen for Corey's and my wedding, um, he is the director of Wicked, and he also directed Beauty and the Beast last year when Corey and I performed in that. And until I was friends with someone who was doing that role, I had no idea what was involved. Like, I've musical directed a show before, and so I worked really, really closely with the director, but even then it just... I didn't understand the pressure. Because they're not just directing. They are... People expect them to direct. They also expect them to help with the vision for the choreography. They expect them to help with the lighting plot. He was helping design costumes. He was driving around to pick up costumes and hire them. Um, he helped do fittings. He organised photo shoots. He helped with promotion and publicity and, like, just everything. And, you know, he worked with the music director. He had people one-on-one -on -one for, I guess, like, lessons on what he wanted them to do. He had people constantly messaging him outside of hours. He was organising trivia nights. Like, if you don't have the director, the whole there's no vision and the whole thing falls apart. And you have to have that person there to have the final say. The person who says, you know, I don't really care that you're the choreographer. I've taken what you want on board, but this is my show and I'm going to make the executive decision of how this runs. Um, I don't think anyone in the cast is the most important person. You can be replaced. Like, we had, I think, 300 people audition for Wicked, and we have a cast of about 25. 
So at any stage that somebody decided that they were pulling out, they could be replaced in two minutes. Um, the sound technicians, sound, you can't have a show. That's true. To a point, we have had shows where our sound has completely gone and we just kept going. We just weren't amplified. We just had to... The, the performers and the band just literally had to A, play louder, and B, just project more. They were like, okay, the sound's gone down. The production, the stage manager has not called for the show to stop. Therefore, they just had to um, change on the fly and just sing it out. Um, but yes, I do see where you're coming from there for sure. But yeah, I guess there's the two different ways of looking at that. I would also say that the production manager is extremely important depending on how much leeway they have. So our production manager is amazing. She works with Liam, that's our director. She works with Liam so closely on everything from costumes to ticketing, advertising, you know, getting snacks and tea and coffee and drafting proposals and grant thing, like grant applications and all that. There's just... She does so much that without her, the whole thing would just fall apart. So she would have to be on the list as well. Anybody else? I kind of feel like we could do without. See, I would say... Real life. <laughs> Here we are, streaming. <laughs> yep. It's been a good outlet like that for me, though. Um... And it's been challenging because I'm used to entertaining people by singing and dancing and acting and sticking to a script. So to sit down here and just chat, no script, no costume, it's just me. It's actually extremely daunting. Um, and like we've chatted before about feeling as though like, why do people watch me? Like... I'm not playing a character, so how is that interesting? It's just me. But I'm just so grateful to everybody that, that hangs out because I have such a good time and I love each and every one of you. But yeah, it's, it's so daunting to not be told what to say. Why are we stopping? Oh, because it's a red light. Okay, that makes sense. Stoppage. I was a musician until my daughter blessed my life 23 years ago. Yes, everyone. Yeah, everybody is a piece of the puzzle, but yeah, if I had to pick the most important, it would be the director. Because um, they're working on the show for month, like up to a year before anyone even rocks up to an audition. And what made you stop, Mouse? Like, do you, do you have like sole... I was going to say ownership. That is awful sole parental duties for your daughter I could easily tell you why I watch you oh well you can tell me if you want tank man but you don't have to either I remember Johan's telling me one day why he watched me and he just said that the stream entertained him it's very chill um and he joked that he watched it because I was a girl and we had quite the laughs that night. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. It makes me anxious too, Patrol. You can leave any time, but we do enjoy having you. My driving always makes Delta Gen anxious. He always puts the... This emoji. Yeah, Mouse Michaels is a guitarist. Oh, thank you, Tank Man. Oh, that made my night. <laughs> I'm very blessed by you guys, honestly. I, I don't see myself as anything, and, um... I'd rather that than be up myself, but it does make life a little bit difficult sometimes. But I just, I so appreciate 
all your kind words and support. Ben Bates refused to grow as human beings. Bands seem to do that. Bands are just like, no, life must always stay the same as it was when we started the band. And it's like, well, it just doesn't work like that. Divorce starting over. Right, okay. Listen and farm some copper in well. <laughs> Yeah, you could play your guitar on stream. Corey does that. Come stream, say hello. Barely get a nod. Yeah. Well, I just... I guess I just feel so... Um, so humbled by everybody that comes and hangs out that I just feel like everyone deserves a huge welcome when they arrive. Because I'm like, oh my gosh! You, like... You've probably got so many things going on in your life, like even you, Tank Man, with your college and stuff. And I'm like, everybody is so busy these days. It's, it's a real, like, I know from my experience watching Twitch, it's such a choice to decide, okay, I'm going to watch some Twitch now, even though I should really be focusing on this or I should be concentrating on something else. Um, it's such a thing to be like, okay, I'm going to watch Twitch. And then you've got your whole list of follows and you're like, okay, who do I want to hang out with right now? And so when someone chooses me for that, I'm just like, oh my gosh, hello. And because I like you all, it's like someone knocking on my front door that I really like. I'm just like, oh my gosh, hello, like come in. I'm so glad you came to visit me. It's like that. But yeah, I, I honestly hate it when I go into a stream and I'm like, you know, Hi mods, hi chat, like how is everyone? And nobody responds. And I'm just sort of like, oh, do you not care? And sometimes I don't like watching big streams for that reason because I feel like no one notices when you arrive. You just slip through the cracks. So you don't feel very special. It's just like, oh yeah, I had 250 viewers, now I have 251. Meh. Yes, I I honestly, I'm biased, but I feel like we have some of the coolest group of people in this stream. Like, just really solidly interesting people. They're just, they're so awesome. Rule Chris 15, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. And yeah, there's always an expert in this chat. You could be like, I wish to know how to milk squirrels. And someone would be like, I once milked a squirrel. Here's what to avoid. And I'd be like, thank you. Now I know how to milk a squirrel. I'm not even joking. I'm sure somebody has. And if nobody knows, they'll make it up. We're stopping for fuel, by the way. Oh, see, that's why I just, I couldn't do college. It's just so much pressure. Um, why do I make you blush, Blabberhoof? Because you know everything. We, okay, so Blabberhoof, you know how you had that hiatus from the channel? You Like, you came in and you watched, I think it was Monkey Island for a while. And then you just sort of didn't come back for a while. And that's fine. Like, whatever, you live your life. But we talked about you, especially Jug and me, we talked about you so often when you weren't here, you would not believe it. Um, so, like, all the time we'd be playing a game or we'd be talking about something and one of us would be like, we need Blabberhoof, he would know the answer to this or he would know the answer to this question about the developers of the game. We used to talk about you all the time. And I was so excited when you came back and started hanging out with us again for that reason. <laughs> Fully engaged my chat. Yeah. See, I, I love being a variety streamer and I love playing things like um, The Long Dark, Thimbleweed Park, all that sort of stuff. But when I do play things like Thimbleweed Park, I get so involved in the puzzles and it makes my brain hurt so much 
that I find it really hard to chat, and that sometimes bothers me. But also if, like, a lot hasn't happened that day or whatever, and I'm playing farming sim, I don't want to just be, like, sitting there staring at the screen, because that's boring, but I also just don't want to talk about nothing for the sake of it. No milking squirrels here? Oh, well, you're not much help, Patrol. <laughs> Yuzi said all these not- Yes! Because you're my family. People say that you can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. Well, I think you can pick your family because I don't get along with my family that much due to many things that we won't talk about. And I've picked my own family. I have a pseudo mum and a pseudo dad. I now have a new mother and father-in-law, new sisters and brothers, and I have my theatre family. Um, and all my friends and you guys are my new family. And if people don't like it, you can all lump it. I never forgot about Blabberhoof. Um, see, I'm not a Buddhist, but I've always said if I wasn't a Christian, I'd be a Buddhist. That would be my next thing. I would move on to Buddhism. Because they're just... They've got it right, those guys. They have got it going on. They know where it's at. Can't remember that. Look, you weren't that chatty blabberhoof. You weren't. It was just, you talked about... Well, you did actually. You did talk a lot about how, like, all the developer stuff. And you knew all these people that worked on Monkey Island or something like that. But I remember you talking about the smokers. And that you were smoking vegetarians. And that just really stuck with me. I guess we talk about meat a lot. Because we used to talk about you whenever we talked about meat. I missed a follow. Lindy21. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry I missed your little alert there. Welcome in. Feel free to lurk or chat. We welcome both kinds of viewers. You're not that old, blabber. Gosh. Nam Duffer Squirrel once every two hours. See? If you don't know, just make it up. Wow, we're really pulling hard up this hill. Can you milk a crocodile? How do crocodiles feed their young? They come out of eggs and then they feed them meat, don't they? You always chat, Jim. It's a celebration. And Blabberhoof brings the lore and the joke. Yes! That's why, like, I miss playing Monkey Island. I wish we could go back and do them all again, because we just had so much fun playing those games. We had fun playing everything, but that was definitely... That will always be a high spot in my Twitch history, was playing Monkey Island. Very carefully. Fair. Darn my search history. <laughs> Interesting. So somebody out there is milking squirrels. The ultimate talk. The ultimate talky version. I don't even know what that is. I'm excited to play Tails though. But I feel like Jug is gonna boycott us if we play Tails, because. He said many times he doesn't like it. Why did I break when I meant to accelerate? This is so much fun with the wheel. Oh my gosh, I'm going to play this off stream as well. If I have time tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to leave my wheel set up tonight and before work tomorrow, I reckon I'm going to play more of this. Except I should really walk the dogs if it's not raining because it rained too much today and they didn't get... I was about to say W-A-L-K-I-E-S, but they know that word. Oh, I taught Rory a new trick today. Do you want to know what it was? It was fun. You won't boycott us? Okay, Jug. We would miss you too much. 
classic view, old school, but with the special edition. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all right. So the old version that I was too scared to play because I thought it would be too hard to interact with. Okay, Tank Man. Well, we'll only distract you for about another half an hour before I have to go to bed. How to pee on a lemon tree. I mean, if you're a woman, I feel like it's kind of difficult. Unless you get one of those she-wee things. Those she-wee things make me laugh every time I think about them. They're so funny. Um, where are we turning? Here? Here we go. New trick. <laughs> P for Peter. <laughs> I really like the lemon tree. I think it's cute. I'm so glad it's got blossoms. Who chats? To everyone who chats on your... <laughs> I would love to send you all something one day. When I get my merch store up and running... Um, I'd love to have, like, you know, a sticker or a mouse pad or something and just send it to everybody. At least all the subs, I don't know. Um, I've had very mixed reviews on the merch store thing. Some people are like, yes, absolutely, do it as soon as you want. There's there's no reason not to. And then other people are like, nah, leave, leave the merch store for a while. And I'm just like, but I don't think it costs anything because I've got Streamlabs Prime. So I think I can actually use Streamlabs to do the merch and it doesn't actually, like it doesn't cost me to like rent it or whatever. It only costs me if someone actually orders something. So I'm like, why not just have it there? But I've also been waiting for all my artwork to be finished so I can actually put that stuff on the hoodies and t-shirts and tank tops and things. But I feel like a lemon coffee mug would be cool because we're all such coffee heads here. Or maybe a travel mug. Travel mugs are good because if you throw them off your desk in a tilt manner, you're less likely to spill. Your raw shark. I don't think I know that reference. A zesty mouse pad. Yeah! It's an overly attached character trying to get a hold of Corey and you, symbolically, by getting your dolls. Okay, like voodoo dolls? Oh, I should, I should have a bottomless mug deal. A Lago's Fat Fizz. Yes. Oh, can you imagine? There's actually a place that offers streamers um, money if they sell this this brand of coffee on their stream. So if I advertise this coffee on my stream or like as part of my merch store or whatever and you guys buy this coffee, I get some profits from it and I get my face put on the coffee. So like I provide them with my logo and the coffee bag has my logo on it and I get some proceeds from the coffee. And I was just like... Interesting. It's it's one of those things where I'm 50% like, wow, that fits my brand perfectly. And then I'm 50% like, I'm not doing that. It's coffee. Buy your own coffee from somewhere else. It'll be cheaper. Red light. Let's just wait so we don't crash. It's green! You've been drinking your own coffee. They show you to... Oh, of course! I know that test. I just didn't know what it was called. All the lemon juice you can drink. Yes. Okay, well maybe we need to do coffee. <laughs> Send Delta a double-double. It's tricky having a mod in Canada because things that I would like to do... I've been mulling over lately things that I would like to do for my mods and they're easy enough to do for my three over here but then there's Delta and I'm just like... That's difficult. He's a long way away from us. 
feel like Rory's left a hair on my lip, but she kind of... Please go green. Nope, now we're rolling backwards. Yep, we hit someone. Oh well. We hit someone again. Should have just run the red. Is Brumble still here? I want to know if Brumble wants to do some trucking tomorrow. Oh, big stretch, Rory. Apparently not trustworthy. Well, not Noslin, otherwise known as Dank. Um, Dank is one of my mods, and he's the same age as you. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's a couple of years older. But, you know. Uh, okay, we turn right here. I'm not a mod for anyone, actually. Mod view scares me. Like, I didn't realise what my mods did, and then I saw what mod view looks like, and I'm just like, what is all this stuff? I had right of way! Bitch. Where's my horn button? I got a hoodie from Roadrunner's store today. I'm very excited. He's so generous to me that I'm always just like, I have to go and get more merch. I'm getting a, um, a hoodie, a tank top, and a travel mug. And I'm like, I have to stop. I have to save money. But he's just, he's so generous that I'm always like, oh, well now I have to do something else for him. And I know he doesn't expect anything back, but I just, I love giving presents to people. I just, I love giving people stuff. I always get so excited for other people's presents that I get um, butterflies in my stomach. Like, on Corey's birthday, I had a pile of presents wrapped and ready to go. And the next morning, I was just lying in bed, staring at the ceiling, and every now and then I would just look over at him like, is he awake yet? Is he awake yet? And then he finally woke up, and he wakes up pretty slowly. And within about two minutes of him opening his eyes... He just had presents descend on him. I was just like, open them! <laughs> wow, this song is really intense. Embers Rise. Server admin for one Discord farm sim server. Oh, cool! Anyone asking? Went <laughs> gifting spree. I just, I like giving people shit. It's so exciting, especially when it's someone you know really well and you put so much thought into the gift and you're like, yep, they are going to love this. This is exactly what they want. Um, and then you see their face when they open it and you're like, yes, I picked perfectly. It just, it's such a rush. Although these lemon earrings, I tell you what, that's that's an example of a terrific gift. Yeah, I've actually never had someone ask to be a mod. Um, and when I first started watching Twitch and reading people's chat rules, everybody says, please don't ask to be a mod. And I'm just like, I've never felt the need to put that in a rule. Because if someone asks and I don't want them to, I can just say, no. Or, I have enough mods. Or, really anything. Don't break. I want to speed. Oh no, I didn't think you were. I'm just on a rampage now. people <laughs> we're not that kind of stream there is no other stream now Queen Amaranth her stream for example 
an entirely different thing. No, Viral, go away. I'm going to ban you. No, not actually. Please don't go, Viral. We like you. You're being a mod at work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on here? More construction. Yeah, I think a lot of people have just had such bad experiences with kids. But I had, I had a full-time job and I was assistant managing a grocery store department by the time I was 16. Like, it just, it just depends. Oh, mouse. So disappointing. That's okay. I know I'm driving so slow, but I just... I'm scared. I'm scared of crashing. Peace, mouse. Love you too, man. We'll see you next time. It is 80 miles an hour, but I'm just like... I'm like that little grandma... Like, pushing her glasses up her nose and looking like peering over the steering wheel. We're going too fast. Hey, Thomas. Thomas is finally here to make fun of my excellent driving. I am an absolute granny driver. I will put that out there. I'm not ashamed. Ever since I had a car accident, I'm such a nervous driver. I look each way like seven times. I take off from the lights really slowly. It takes me ages to go around a roundabout because I slow down so much. I'll pick the perfect parking place because it needs to be not near a trolley bay and that sort of stuff. I do know that, Vicky. <laughs> I've got money. I can afford to be late. Yeah, if there's lots, it can get confusicating. They will, exactly. They will let me down. Yeah, exactly. They feel like they can't chat squirrel. We were talking about milking squirrels a second ago. Oh, poor squirrel. No milk from that. That's exactly right. We thrust power upon Delta Gen. We were just like, hey Delta. And he was like, yeah, okay. I was like, cool. <laughs> the thing is, Delta just lives his life in hope that he can ban someone. That's what he really wants. He wants to swing that ban hammer. But he's only ever been able to ban um, the... Big follows famous thing. Yeah, we were saying about how there's always an expert in the chat for everything. Doesn't matter what it is, someone will know about it. And I pulled the example of milking squirrels out of the air. And so Tank Man went and googled, and apparently you can milk squirrels. Every two hours. I know... I know chats for almost 30 years now, and it didn't change a bit in this time. Huh? What the German are you saying, Blubberhoof? I remember Delta Gen spotting someone. Oh, that's right! He banned the fake Thomas Levo on my birthday. I think it was on my birthday. Two to three trolls per week. Yes, that's right. <laughs> because they produce a lot of milk. Is it because you're pretty, Vicky? Is it because you're pretty and you have a nice laugh? Do they just, like, come in and, you know, try to elbow viral out of the way? Like, I feel like there has to be... Yeah, exactly right. You've got the, you've got the booty and everybody just wants a piece. 
I know, right? I was so confused and I was like, oh, okay, we're going to have to ban Thomas. That sucks. I thought he was a nice guy. And then Delta was just like, oh, interesting, ban. <laughs> he, was, he was so ready. It was like he was crouched at the starting blocks, just ready to go. <laughs> it is all yours, Viral. I'm pretty fortunate. I've only had one troll. I'm an old git and the usual populations and power struggles. Has Twitch been going 30 years? Or like Mixer or whatever. I did get the lemon tree. Um, and we're taking suggestions on what... Oh, I have to pick soon. I have to pick what to name it soon. Out of all the suggestions from tonight. Here's... A question for you, Zesty. You're pretty and... Oh, Tank Man! You're just... Wow. What a red letter day this is. I'm glad you think so. How many people have you had come along and try and hit on you or be rude about being a female streamer? None. I have never had a person um, try and hit on me in the stream. Except for Corey. He's weird like that. He tends to try and hit on me. IRC servers. <laughs> you would, Viral. Pizza! What's going on? Oh, Zesty is a female. Um, the, I'm trying to think. The only troll that I've had, someone came in and said, you are a big fat F. Insert F-bomb here. But that wasn't like because I was a female or anything. I think it was just a troll. And they got banned. Actually, no, we didn't even ban them. Jug turned around and said, Watch us ignore you, dear troll. And that was the end of that. Chat is usually pretty good at shutting trolls down to the point where they're like, Oh, this is no fun. I'm not... They want a reaction. And when they don't get the reaction, they leave. That's my experience so far. But no, I've never had anyone hit on me. And I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. Because Corey was like, you got to be really careful when you get on Twitch. Like, after I'd started streaming. And after I hit affiliate, he's like, you got to be really careful. There's a lot of really weird people out there. And they'll try and hit on you because you're a female streamer. And I'm just like, why does nobody hit on me? <laughs> Corey gets hit on more than me. I am 11, correct. <laughs> For the view... <laughs> Guess the troll's real name and you get to pass. Another female streamer used to watch stop streaming because she got bullied by people hitting on her. See, I'd go a different direction. If someone tried to hit on me, I would... Unless they started asking me really gross things. Like, Amaranth gets people a lot who ask, like, can you please show me the bra you're wearing? Like, really obvious stuff. Um, unless I got stuff like that, I would probably just pretend that I was really naive and just took it all as a compliment. They do. They starve to death. <laughs> Go ahead, Blabberhoof. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> oh, I love it, Vicky. Amazing. <laughs> Oh no, I pressed the button again. Actually, while I do this, I have to show Foxtrot the tree. See? Come to my only... Yeah, exactly. If I get an OnlyFans, I'd probably get hit on more. How good is it? It's so pretty. It's a dwarf mire. Um, I really like it. It's got blossoms and everything. Is Foxtrot still here? Is he looking at the tree? <laughs> yeah, nice. I just, it's, um, I thought it was, I thought it was a bit dead, but it's actually just, the leaves were a bit dirty. Had a huge rainstorm and it got, uh, it got washed off. So, yeah, it's actually looking really healthy, which is good. Um, I don't care about your tree. I love your shells. Yeah, I love my shells too. So, Tank Man, I don't think... Bear with me, guys, that have had this spiel before. I don't think I've shown you. We will finish driving in a second. I don't think I've shown you, like, what all my things 
on my shelves are. So I very specifically picked this stuff for a reason. It didn't work. I'm not super confused, Peter. Um, so, yeah, I very specifically picked things. So I've got the Lemonheads Unite box, which you can't see right now. And I love candles, so I've got those. I've got a little plant, which I like plants, and one of my best friends gave that to me for Christmas. Um, I love reading, so I've got the Twilight books, because I'm a bit of a Twilight fan. Um, <laughs> Pizza is trolling. Those, you can't quite see them, but they're my, my bridal shoes that I wore for the wedding. And below them is my... A wedding bouquet of roses which my sister dried for me. Um, below is a C and E which when we had our after party for our wedding, my pseudo mum and dad threw us an after party the next day, like a garden party. It was amazing. And they had little like blackboards around and they had those letters stuck on. So they gave me those. Um, down the bottom there are two Harry Potter heat change mugs. Um, one is Gryffindor, which is Corey's house, and one is Hufflepuff, which is my house. This I'm, this I'm very proud of. <sighs> so this is my trophy for most outstanding musical director. So this was the first time I musical directed a production. Um, we did Rent and our local Gippsland Theatre Awards. So it's I think eight different theatre companies. It's like our version of the Tonys. Um, yeah, I got most outstanding musical director. So that's my GAT award. Um, and then I've got my little willow tree faceless ornaments. My mum keeps giving them to me except for the husband and wife one, which I bought Corey. Um, I've got my PS2, my diffuser, Big Bang Theory box set, Gilmore Girls box set, Thanos, huge Thanos Avengers bobblehead pop, which has rather a large story behind it. Um, assorted PS2 games and a lemon tree. So, I very specifically picked things. Alright, let's go back to gaming. <sighs> yeah, give up, Peter. I read too fast. I'm a skim reader. I like them huge. <laughs> um, the Thanos is actually Corey's. So, um, with the Thanos, I bought Corey... So, Corey and I had a fight one day. Wasn't, like, a huge fight or anything. He was just really grumpy about something. And it was really pissing me off that he just wouldn't snap out of this mood he was in. So, I was just like... <laughs> Corey says that more than a handful is a waste. Anyway, shut your ears, children. Um... Wow, we are struggling up this hill. Come on, Trucky. Um, okay, so Corey was being a real grumpy bum. And I was working at EB Games at the time, and we had a sale on these little bobblehead key rings of all the, the Marvel Avengers heroes and stuff. And so I got Thanos, because Thanos just looks so grumpy in the pop vinyl. And I gave it to Corey, and I said, this is to remind you not to be a grumpy bum, because Thanos was a grumpy bum, and like decimated the universe. So this is to remind you why you shouldn't be grumpy. Anyway, he really laughed, he cracked up, he thought it was hilarious. Um, fight was over, he snapped out of it, all good. And so he used to take it everywhere and say that it reminded him not to be grumpy. When we got, in, um, when we got engaged, no, when we... It was like our, I think it was our one year dating anniversary. I was like, you know, you've been with me for a while. I know I can get on your nerves sometimes, but you still love me. This is to still remind you again not to be a grumpy bum. And I got him a normal sized pop vinyl of Thanos. He thought that was very funny. Anyway, at our engagement party dinner that we had, we just had a really small engagement thing. Um, in front of his like family and our, our bridal party. I said, okay, we're getting married now. It's time for the big kahuna. And I brought out this huge Thanos bobblehead. And I said, um, I got you the little one at our one year anniversary. I got you the normal size one. Now you're stuck with me for life. You're going to need something a little bit bigger to remind you 
not to be a grumpy bum with me for the rest of our lives. And he laughed so hard he almost cried. And his dad filmed the whole thing. So it's been quite the journey with Thanos. Um, he says that if we ever have children, I'm going to have to get him, like, the life-size Thanos statue. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But, yeah. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, so close. That's the Thanos journey. Yeah, I know, right? Viral is blessed. No, it's good, though. I, I would struggle. If I was any bigger, I would struggle with dancing and stuff. My, um, my cousin has to wear two bras, and she's like, my back just hurts all the time. I'm like, yeah, fair. Well, that's clearly my about me section pizza. Like, I can tell that at a glance. Um. Don't. <laughs> it was pretty cute. I saw a Thanos XX. What's an XXX doll? Like a dirty doll? Yeah, send me the link in Discord. Sure, send me the link. Let me have a look. <laughs> that's so weird. Trust you to find that viral. Okay, pizza. You realise, pizza, if you saved up your channel points, you could get a wheel spin? We're actually going to add um, random Steam codes onto the... onto the wheel as a reward. A giant metal Thanos. <laughs> I've got a friend that does a lot of metal work. He, um, he made me a little treble clef key ring. Out of iron. It was really cool. Why is it boring? <laughs> oh, I think pizza's pretty harmless. You never know, though. I just wish that we could have more, like, I was thinking of having something like a follower Friday once a month, where we play something like Among Us, and anybody can join. But I just feel like every time I try to do something like that, I always get burnt. And I know that it's like one or two people ruining, ruining it for everybody else that just, like, can't afford to sub or whatever. But it just, it just sucks. And I feel like other people that let other people play on streams, they seem to have better luck with it. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I know that a lot of people say you have to be watching the stream for like an hour before you're allowed to play. You can't just come in and immediately play. What is this song? Play that funky music, white boy. Three clapperboards the other day. What is a clapperboard? Oh, the clapperboard. Right, okay. Cool. Yes, Tank Man. Among Us is fun. Take the middle way where everybody is. Yes, well, see, I was talking to Foxtrot about this, and he said that that's what Roadrunner does. He doesn't say that people have to sub to play games with him. He just expects them to follow him and hang around in the channel for a week or two so that he can get to know them first. And I'm like, yeah, that is a pretty good middle ground. It's not the doll can't seem to find <laughs> Yeah. But people just get so shitty about it. But then I'm like, look, if you're going to get shitty about it, you know, probably... Uh, Shows us who you are. Oh, here's Idaho. Idaho on the 1.37 beta. Alright, what is what is Viral sending me? Oh, wow. That's kind of cool, Viral. Not gonna lie. Let's not crash into this van. How would the fist work? Oh my gosh, you have to show Vicky that if you haven't already. See what Vicky thinks. 
Do we have our artwork yet? It's 9pm his time, and he said he'd have it done by the night. Oh well, hopefully he'll have it done by tomorrow. When I hosted game night, you have to say hi in chat and not troll. Yeah, okay. I'm still very much learning, so... I'm not hard and fast with what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just sort of feeling my way and whatever works at the time. They, they are very cool. Like, that sort of stuff is usually just very generic, but that's, that's so cool. I feel like that would, there'd have to be a huge market for that sort of thing. Like people that are really into superheroes and stuff. I now have to question Google. Oh no. Why? Oh shit, it's almost midnight. We have to find someone to raid. 93 miles. Uh... Alright, let's finish. What the heck? I don't start till 12. Let's just finish the job before we stop. Being into superheroes might have <laughs> More confusion. Hmm. True, Blabberhoof. True. <laughs> the superhero is part of me. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, pizza. They're just going to tell me that my truck's not good enough, like, every time. Reverse. I know it's not in perfect technical state, someone hit me! One streamer just stopped, looked, and didn't even try to read it. <laughs> I got the body of a supermodel, but now there's no space left in the fridge for the veggies. <laughs> Lovely. I really want to cosplay Wonder Woman. I just think it's just such a classic. I've wanted to do that ever since I saw um, someone play Wonder Woman at the uh, movie world, Warner Brothers movie world theme park in Queensland. Ever since then I've wanted to do it. Um, I think the new one. I looked up some cosplay today and I saw the original costume and I was just like, mm, nah. I like the hot pants rather than the skirt. Yeah, I like the new one. And after watching Andy Ray cosplay last night, I'm like, you know what? Because I can't sew yet. I could, except for the hot pants, I could basically just body paint the whole thing. I could body paint the top, um, and then I could just buy blue hot pants and just paint the silver stars on them, like stencil them on. It would be such an easy cosplay. You just have to buy the boots. Well, it's funny because I was looking on Wish today because I watched this video. I fell down a massive YouTube hole today. 
I watched this video of a girl um, who bought like seven different costumes um, off Wish. And we all know Wish is pretty crappy. And she did one of those hero things that Vicky was saying that Lily likes, hero ac academia or whatever. Um, I think it was a character called Froppy, who wears a green wig. Anyway, the costumes were pretty crap, and I was like, I'm going to see what there is out there on Wish. So I had a look, um, and there was this one that looked like a tree. You wear this headpiece, and it's got all these little branches that go up. So I could technically dress as a lemon tree. No, I've bought a couple of things off Wish in the past. Their shoes are amazing. I actually had two pairs of shoes arrive the other day from Wish. When I say the other day, it was like a month ago. And they're great. Every, like I buy dance shoes for theatre off Wish and they're so good, but the clothing is awful. What does that mean, Blabberhoof? Hey, Mart again. How are you going? Everybody, please welcome our winner of the $50 Visa gift card to a subscriber. Getting all that organised. Harley Quinn, I feel like I don't vibe with enough to cosplay it, but it is a really good cosplay. Um, everybody that I watched on YouTube today, they all said, don't cosplay something that doesn't sort of speak to you. If you don't love that character, and if it doesn't speak to you, you shouldn't cosplay it. But it is a very good one. Froppy. Your mother has a smooth voice. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I have to add to my tattoo. I really want to add to it, but again, I had just found a tattoo artist who I wanted to do it, because um, I've moved away from the old one, and COVID. But it's on the list. That's good. Thanks for stopping by. Jug, you think everything's rigged. I've not seen your cat or husband yet. Well, my husband was here earlier, hanging out. You saw him, didn't you? I thought you were here before. He was sitting in, literally sitting in the doggo cam. And he chatted for a while. Um, we were talking about sex dungeons. He's gone to bed because he's on a permanent 8am to 4pm shift at the moment. Um, and the cat is a dick. The cat's not really allowed in the office because he chews wires. Like, we literally got a baby gate on the door for that reason. Um, he always just chews headphones and cables. Can't be trusted. But he's very cute. He does appear on stream sometimes. I think he's asleep on the couch at the moment. He's very cute. He's called Ajani. Um, and Ajani is after a planeswalker from Magic the Gathering. Who is a cat planeswalker. So, seemed appropriate. A big cardboard. <laughs> the cat is a dick, it's true. Uh, party dress adult fancy fruit mascot. Oh no, it's another lemon cosplay. Quote of my life. What? Zero. Okay. I'm confused by this quote thing, to be honest, guys. Oh, matching tattoos, yay! Corey's got a tattoo too. We got them around the same time, but there's no way we could ever agree on something that we both want. <laughs> no, I won't do that. The thing is, he'd get up and then he wouldn't remember it the next day. He's a massive sleepwalker and sleep talker, which is sometimes funny and sometimes terrifying. It was very scary a couple of nights ago. Lemon on drugs cosplay. You guys! Whoops, turning in. Ian Danes! What's up? Um, where are we going? To bed in a minute. We have just arrived. Um, I believe we are in Idaho. No, we went through Idaho. We're in the state above Idaho. Ah, uh, we'll just do this. 
Um, we've done quite, uh, we went Sierra Vista to Idaho Falls. Um, where are we at? Unassigned school points. We'll put that into high value cargo. And we need to look for someone to raid. What's up? Peter, stop spamming emotes or I'm going to time you out. Love you. Um, okay, so... We need to find someone to raid. Where are we going to go next time, though? Where's the map? What have we explored so far? Um... Where have we been? We need to go up here to Salmon. We haven't been to Twin Falls. Well, we've actually done a fair bit. Done quite a lot of driving. I'd like to get all the way up to Port Angeles. I want to do some driving tomorrow. Where did bloody Brumble go? I wanted to ask him about trucking. Um... I will give them a hug. I'll go full screen and we'll give them a hug now. You don't want it if I don't have the wheel. Yes, well, I drove this with keyboard and mouse for a little while. Um, and I got the wheel about a week or so ago. And tonight was my first time driving this with the wheel. And it's so cool. It's so much better. Hey, Rory. Rory. You want to wake up, darling? Rory. Rory. Come on, it's almost time for bed. Wake up. Hug? Hello. She's just always ready for a hug. Immediately. You smell like a sleepy poodle. Kiss? No kisses? Kiss? Oh, thank you. Good kiss. Muttering. You must have been really asleep. We're going to have to wake Sheila up too, and she always takes about 20 minutes to wake up. Hey, Blabberhoof, you know how Banshee was really old? Do you find that he's really hard to wake up? Like, once he's asleep, you have to basically shake him awake? Lately, Sheila is almost impossible to wake up. Like, I think she's dead. And I have to actually get the side of her bed and shake it back and forth before she even stirs. It's quite terrifying. Such a soft voice. <laughs> it's such a good girl. Why is it? Why are you making that weird snoring noise? <laughs> good girl. You hop down. We'll find someone to raid, and then I'll put you to bed. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Gross. How deep he sleeps. Yeah, when he's having a nap, like when she's having a nap, she's okay, but if she's asleep, she is asleep. She's such a sweet papa. <laughs> do you have do you have pets, Vicky? Um, alright. Who are we, who are we raiding? Well, I can't even talk. I better have this artwork to show you guys by tomorrow night, honestly. Um Oh, thanks for that, Mardigan. I got your whisper. I'll sort that out first thing tomorrow. As soon as I remember. Um, let's go see Jenks. We haven't seen Jenks of the uh, the female the female boobs in a while. So I touch his holy paw. <laughs> um, thank you, Tank Man. You take care too. We'll see you next time. No worries, Jug. Thanks so much for hanging out. Oh, no doggos. Everyone should have doggos. Alright. Um, and I don't think we have the new emotes yet. Does that work? Vav Trudnir. Hello, you are grabbing us just as we're about to raid. Please come back and see us tomorrow. As a customer, but I know he had fun to do. <laughs> I had fun too. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, our raid call is the Lemonheads have arrived. Yes, Vav, we are 
We are bed time because we're in Australia and it's after midnight. Um, but please come out and hang with us anytime. Tomorrow is Retro Wednesday. We will be playing Thimbleweed Park. If you have the lemon emotes, please use them. If you do not, use your favourite emotes. Give Jank some love. He is a sweetheart. Um, so we're going to go see him. He's playing Middle Earth. And I've never played it before, but each to his own. Oh, is that a doggo emote? It's a German Shepherd emote. Oh. Okay, let's jump. Love you all. See you tomorrow night, hopefully with artwork. Goodbye.